and i think we're live guys we um, are live yes we are moved a little bit let me just okay <laughs> we are live but how's our we're live audio? we're a mess we're uh it's monday Hello. guys it is monday <laughs> welcome to monday uh, uh for the record you also still have stream deck on instead of um the uh D and D Beyond. It's it's BT on now. BT Dubs. Huh? Okay. What what we're hey. time? Uh no, it looks like you still have Stream Deck. What do you mean by Stream Deck? The I'm confused. The extension the extension on on Twitch. It should be D and D Beyond because I'm clicking it right now and I can see which campaigns I'm doing. I might be mistaken then. Or my thing hasn't refreshed fast right. enough. It says D and D Beyond. Idiot. Okay, now it's this baby beyond. Okay. I had to refresh like an idiot. No, no, you're you're good, my dude. You're, you're good. No, 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 it's not good. Okay. And Hello. Wait, so it's it's everyone. Everything hurts. <laughs> we're not we're not having audio issues. What? What? Okay. Anyway, welcome to Horde of the Dragon <laughs> Queen, guys. It's it's Monday and it's we're here. That's about it. <laughs> This is our best introduction is our... ever. Just kind of. <laughs> it is Monday, and we are here. Monday, we're here. Just kind of here. And <laughs> I, I, yes, I too am super excited because this is our fifth edition module that we run out of the Tyranny of Dragons campaign. Hello, I am Thick, and I will be your DM tonight and your personal therapist, apparently. <laughs> so, Come what on, announcement? <laughs> No refunds. What? <laughs> Sorry, Grayson. No refunds. You signed the waiver. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Um. So. Oh, announcements. Hey, guess what? Yeah. This Saturday uh, is going to be on our YouTube channel. What? Is it a discussion about uh, character class, class wardrobe attire tropes? Something? I don't know. You guys. You guys drew it. I just edited. it. I forgot, I forgot what? what the title was. I'm sorry. You, I'm trying to remember. Are you are you saying that our first ever Demi Planes and Doodles is gonna actually be on YouTube? Yeah, it's so weird. Whoa, uh, that is wild. And then also, episode two is already uploaded, but it's on private until the day that it should come out. Oh, ha, 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 fun. Ha, ha, our good old ha, yeah. We had our a uh, good old teeth talk on Saturday, and that was uh, enlightening in every sense. And. There was, there, was a, there was some good discussions about uh, tieflings that I, I wish I could have uh, joined in a little bit. but I Well, if you want, we're always looking for people to guest with us on Dropile. And I, just, like... I really want to, but apparently you guys decide to do it every single time that I am actually doing something that is not in this studio in Google uh, have Computer. Yeah. Having a life. Stop <laughs> having a life. I'm sorry. Sucks. Stop it. Sorry. Stop it. Well, if you want to join us for... The next for this coming Saturday, which we plan to do, we're thinking of hosting a little something special for that stream. So maybe I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Okay. I might be changed up. I don't know what I'm doing. You might. Fair. Okay, Tis. That one's fair. A joke. Um. So, uh, what uh, what uh, what other things are we doing? Do we have to uh, uh, elder friends that we need to thank? Uh, friends of. Uh, Oh, you're staring at me? Um, uh, I was staring at uh, all of you, but yeah, I am staring at you now. Well, I mean, <laughs> we're only doing this little thing that's uh, kind of sort of a webcomic, kind of sort of about a paladin named Alistair. Allie! It's a bro! Uh, it's, a bro. it's a bro who... I think last time me and Vic were talking about it, we discovered that it... His design may or may not have accidentally been a certain anime of a redhead. <laughs> Do you remember? I remember this talk. I remember this talk. Mm, mm. Anyway, the good old yes. wandering swordsman. <laughs> the wandering swordsman. Yes, mm -hmm. the redhead. Um, but yeah, so it's a webcomic about a paladin bro uh, with his barbarian bro, and they're going to save the world, and we're super excited about it. And we have yeah. Discord you can join if you're a patron for a dollar. You can join us. Yep, so you can hang out with us on the Discord, and you guys actually have been a huge support system for us, so thank you. We love you. And yeah. um, they're big influences for our uh, drop pile stream on Saturday. Yeah. 
Yeah, we have we actually have a channel on our Discord where we have people give input on what they want to see us draw, and then we'll draw it. And it's amazing. We love them. Yes, it's really cool. You guys are pretty awesome at everything that you're doing with that. Thanks. I legitimately listen to y'all's podcast, and it's pretty cool. That gives me like, the warm fuzzies and anxiety at the same time. Thanks. Like, because because it, it it is you guys showcasing your art, but like as it was rendering and i was like just listening to it and i was like doing other things like you guys have legitimate interesting conversations so i'm glad we do thank you yeah. well, most of the time it's that like you that don't I suck i guess I, that <laughs> is exactly the, that's, just, that's exactly the validation i need in my life it's like you, you don't suck you don't suck all right like, thank you <laughs> maybe this but new meme way. yeah so uh <laughs> All of our information for Alistair is down below. You can go check out the Patreon there. And uh, we have friends that sell wood. They like to give wood, I believe. They do. They, they do. We, I mean, Valentine's Day. Yeah, I mean, yes. I'm pulling out one of my woods right now. Yeah, let me just look out one of mine. It's kind of thick, though, and, and, and long. It, mine's super hefty. So, uh, it's, it's, oh God, it's I mean, as you know, bar <laughs> barbarians, we kind of... <laughs> Yeah, the barbarian like is a little bit bigger than mine. God I damn it, just fucking get out of the goddamn box. It's so distant. <laughs> look at this, look at these, look at these. Ooh, pretty. Ah, oh, got two. Nice. But uh, yeah, if you guys uh, uh, follow the link under below, it's uh, at Helen and Claw. Um, we also have a code that you can pull. It's called uh, Divine Conquer. No sh iron. You get 10% off. Uh, and they also have these awesome, cute little dice trays. I'm they trying do not dice to... trays. They yeah. do DM screens. And they have DM screens, which are. And they're always. Oh, did you see? They have. Uh, they have one project in the works. It's going to be called the Council of Eleven. Mm. And it's like it's, a, it's like the Council of Seven, but it fits some more dice. <laughs> it's kind of like it's... the same thing they have, but just bigger. But it's. <laughs> I mean, we all like something a little bigger. I mean. <laughs> I'm really glad that they started with the Council of Seven. Then they yeah. kind of got bigger, and now it's even bigger. Because you have to have that nice uh, support so you can stretch it out first. Where you of course, dice. like you can't. Yeah, you gotta. You always have to have a starter. Yes, you can't just like, you can't just jump in. Like, <laughs> no, you know, never. That's, you're gonna get into some trouble if you just. You, you gotta take. You have to take it just a little bit at a time, and then once you're fully into it, then you can you can advance to the next step. What are we talking about? I'm talking about Talon and Claw's amazing dice vaults. What are you talking about? I don't know anymore. Wood? <laughs> Wood. I anymore. Wood. Wood. I just, want, I just want to be able to, to organize the beast I can summon by challenge ratings. I, 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 need, you, I need you to put it put it down. Just put it down. I, don't want, I want my beasties. Uh, and then, uh, uh, who, who else are we? Alistair? There's uh, we have Talon and Claw. You guys have a merch store. We also have a merch store. Look, I'm drinking from some what? of our merch. Wait, store. hold on. What? What is huh, it? Wait, oh, look at that one. Look at that one. Look at that. Look at that t-shirt. Yeah. That's so cool. Look at that West shirt. This is my favorite shirt. shirt. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, <laughs> and then uh, do 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 do. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. I. T I'm pretty sure there's a long list of things that I'm supposed to also like advertise and say but i don't recall at the moment that's that's okay just uh i guess general shout outs and thank yous to everybody who subscribes follows and all that good stuff please thank you oh yeah. here's a thing Ooh. um so if for some reason you miss this you can hear us talk about it on the next monday on the reroll Ooh. podcast exactly that's correct very nice so if you, if you for some reason can't finish this episode or you have to do something else you can hear the recap kind of on mondays yes and we talk about it yes we do yes, oh we yeah do. I'm, uh, do we have a set theme for this coming monday or no uh it's not at the moment, but at the moment. well let's see we'll see where this week carries us yeah let's see let's see how damaged we get today <laughs> people will be inspired a lot <laughs> Uh, I, I have a basic idea what I want to talk about, but I, uh, but I, I uh, it's it's about cults, but I don't know. Ooh. Every single one of the campaigns <laughs> we've been dealing is it has to do with a cult. So I've been thinking about. Wow. Are you part of what secretly part of a cult? 
Perfect. Yeah. I'm the one that gives the Kool Aid. Yes. Oh, how kind of you. Oh, thank you. Um, we can start that intro anytime you want, DM. Yeah, <laughs> let's let's go ahead and just get right into it. Unless we want to intro ourselves first, or I, I don't know. We it's usually what we do. Yeah, it is. All right. So, so um, so DM, ask someone to introduce themselves. Wow. Well, so as we know, I'm Vic, and I am the DM, and I will be your therapist tonight. And I believe below me, uh, well, next to me right now on the stream is. Hello. Hi. Uh, hi, everybody. I'm Tabitha. I will be playing John Vavantry, the Drow Cleric. Yay. And then right below me is uh, Jesus. Hi, everybody. Uh, I am a Jesus. I will be playing Fox the Turtle Druid, and uh, hopefully therapy will go well today. <laughs> and uh, next is a Zesty. A Zesty. My name is Lynn, and I play Grace and Tadric. And all fifty shades of his problems, so that'll be fun. Vic, don't even. We have so many emotional issues in this game. I love it. Do you have a problem, Vic? No, I I do not. Fifty shades of gray. That's right. that's a book, right? It's yes. Grayson. It's love it. <laughs> I expect art of that. Anyway, <laughs> he would fit yeah. so well into that role. Thank you. Mm. Probably complain a lot, but still. Uh, <laughs> and art comes later. <laughs> but anyway, comes later, later. Like, who's the, who's the <laughs> shit? Anyway, remember it goes left and that. right. Okay. Yeah, well, All right, and then we'll have uh, uh, Steph and Josh join us later. They are our respective fish people of the campaign, Yuli and oh, Ophelia. Right. And then, and then there's no, it is not. But there is Ophelia, and then there's yes. Where the hecking? It's like the buttons aren't working. All right, Yuli, there we go. Whenever okay. Up. And, then... and then afterwards, we have a uh, Burbo. Burbo. It's me. My name is Jeremiah, and I play Bird Ride the Samurai Paul. <laughs> so much energy. Yes. So much. I need you to dial Bird Ride has a lot of energy, just not me. Personally. I need you to dial it down to a fifty. <laughs> it's only that Monday. Is, that is the fifth. <laughs> oh, uh, all right. We should be so lucky then. Uh, let's go ahead and roll our intro. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> so everybody, we were so just discussing uh, Grayson's new um, autobiography, Fifty Shades of Grayson. Um, <laughs> it's a book in the tavern. Yeah, you, didn't, you didn't have to say <laughs> that part, but I guarantee okay. you, it's somewhere in a tavern. Yes, <laughs> he's probably writing it right now as we speak. So, let me just throw on some. Music. There we go. Let me Music. get Ooh, some. Of, that's, a, that's some. That's some uh, stuff. And Is yeah, that that's what I'm. Yeah, we'll, we'll roll with that. And a little bit of that. Ooh. Okay. I am mixing ambiance. Thank you. Ambiance. So. All right, picking up from our story thus far. So, the party of Fox, Janva, Verderai, Grayson, Ophelia, and Yuli, and now one Xavier Tatarik and a gaggle of kobolds. We have prepared for their first day of voyage, uh, having spent the previous night on the run from a rampant green dragon. It was, and it was with the help of a young gnomish girl that they managed to escape. Uh, the city of Baldur's Gate and into the Dock District. 
But before their voyage could begin, Yuli uh, was lured into the arms of a mysterious horned woman, offering him the power to put a stop to the looming Armageddon on the horizon. And when he awoke, his trident had changed into that of an executioner's axe. So, the following morning, with the Colt's cargo packed away, and uh, a fresh crew hired, and a locked box that is not we'll capable of box. is not capable of being opened, no matter how hard John tries. Uh, the secret oasis was sailing off to Waterdeep. But uh, within your first day of voyage, trouble was immediately found as you were attacked by a stolen ship and an angry crew of hobgoblins. And with the handful that you left alive, Grayson commanded a very powerful and very well-timed parlay to which the hobgoblins threw their weapons down and parlayed to you. With who was left alive, they were taken aboard. The ship was scoured for any 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 uh, supplies, any clues to what could have happened, but the most that was found was a, a very dead crew, minimal food, uh, maybe like a handful of change, and, and uh, Fox discovering that the hobgoblins that were left were recently branded with uh, uh, the mark of slavery. And so now, the Secret Oasis, uh, having been patched up, and the uh, remaining ship being sent into a fiery and colorful burial at sea, we continue on. So, I believe we will pick up at the evening of your first day. What's everyone up to? Excuse me. Um, Jamba's just meandering around and people watching. And if anybody bothers, she'll talk with them. Okay. Uh, roll me a perception while you're because you're just hanging out on the top deck. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Perception? Mm -hmm. Hey, that's not bad. Uh, yeah, 20, so 25. <laughs> that's not bad, she Whoa. says. That's fine. That's, 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 that's passable. Dang. It's passable. First roll of the night. First roll of the night. It's a pretty good start. <laughs> um, I will say, um, uh, just kind of meandering around on the top deck of the ship. Um, you will see, uh, generally it's, uh, work has kind of slackened for the day as it's now kind of nighttime and the ship is just at a, just kind of at a steady kind of bob on the sea. Um, what, what are you up to in this moment? It's said it's nighttime, right? Yes. Um, actually I'm, I just kind of now think about, thought about it. There's going to be a reason for this, but can I ask if there's any kind of like practice weapon or wood sticks you like yay long that can be like a sword? <laughs> um, if you, I would say if you ask uh, the quartermaster Caspian, he will just kind of look at you and say, Oh, yeah, sure. We totally have specifically that type of stick laying around just for you to use. Of course. Of course. Yeah, I um, Burger Eye does, <laughs> but Burger Eye does it not. Like, I don't even need to roll inside. I'm just going to let you know. I'll roll inside, but Burger Eye doesn't say sarcasm. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> I mean, it's very clear sarcasm, but if you want to roll inside, go for it. I rolled anyway, but yeah, uh, Burger Eye doesn't do that. That's 11. That's, yeah. <laughs> It's, it's yeah, it's very uh, yeah, very clear sarcasm on that front. I'm gonna say, where is it? <laughs> I'll let you know when I find it. 
Um, if like if not, then I'll use my sword. Like I do have two swords. It's just okay. the other one is just too big. But I will lend it to Ro so we can practice sword fighting. Okay. Let me roll a quick thing for him then. See how this baby's doing. Oh, Ro, go. It's no. <laughs> no. It's, he he's not. He dropped it because he's too heavy. <laughs> it's 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 a little too encumbersome for him, and <laughs> it's not. Co- it's it's very awkward in his tiny cobalt hands. Yes. All right. Baby. It's fine. He'll be okay. <laughs> so. Uh, Janva, with your 25, uh, you will see, and if anybody else wants to say if they're also on the top deck of the ship or wherever, feel free. Just to kind of give Janva a layout of the ship. Mm-hmm. Um, is anyone hanging out on the top deck, or is yeah, everybody probably. doing their... I mean, Fox will probably be up, up in the top. Alright. But he's going to be uh, talking to Spud. Talking to Spud. So you see Fox uh, off to off to the side in his own little corner of the world, just conversing with Spud. As you realize, he it's just a thing that he does. Mm-hmm. Apparently, they hold very deep conversations. Not that you can quite pick up on it. <laughs> Pretty much, or in, or at least in this case, you hear the one sided conversation of Fox talking to Spud, and then a donkey brain back at him. But apparently these answers are very intelligent for a donkey, depending on Fox's rebuttal to him, so... <laughs> there's there's clearly a conversation being held. Like, but yeah, I'll be on the top deck, but I am okay. training. Me and Ro are kind of training. Alright. Um, you will see uh, a couple of the crew members just kind of... Kind of... Uh, kind of hanging out, just eating, um, eating a little bit of dinner, having some drink. Mm-hmm. Um, you'll see... Um, one of the crew members being, um, I think one of the newer ones, I believe I said, there was a red-headed woman, mm-hmm. uh, a red-headed human woman, there was a red dragonborn. Yeah, I remember the dragonborn. Mm-hmm. And there is the summer uh, Eladrin, who's just kind of looking out on the railing, just by themselves. Okay. And you will see the um, the man with the, the black headdress, the one that you recognize from the party, also, just kind mm-hmm. of by himself, as he's just not really paying attention to much of anything, but just kind of just not staring at nothing, just kind of to himself. Just in his own little trance. In his own little... I it, guess, in a way. In a way. And, um... You will see... Uh, you will see Sybil, you will see uh, Phoebus as um, Sybil is currently in the midst of trying to fight the orc woman as she's being picked up like a sack of potatoes tucked under the arm and you just hear i don't want to go to bed i'm not tired it's like yes, Aww. You are. Aww. she's trying she's trying to be very convincing but not so much oh uh. well, you see bird or eye trading row you see the kobolds just kind of Watching, kind of in a in a in a row, <laughs> kind of just kind of watching, um, making little comments to each other and yip yak. Okay, so the one guy from the party. Oh my god, doggo! Don't don't do it. Going anywhere? Nobody asked you guy. your opinion. So say, uh, not going anywhere near the guy with the turban. Because it's guy from party that was with Galvin and the, red, the guy with the headdress. Yeah, yeah. Now, um, I guess she's gonna kind of like. I guess. Oh, another thing you will also see, um, kind of mingling with the crew is the uh, the same gnomish girl. Okay. Um. Oh, the hell not. Uh, I think I'm gonna have Jamba. Jamba's gonna first go and she's gonna go and mingle with the elf. You said it was an elf, uh, summer elod- eladrin. Yes. Okay. She'll go there over there first. If she's not gonna get any, and depending on how that goes, she's just then gonna move over and, and talk with Spud. 
a not with this. Taco Spud with the Fox and Spud. <laughs> with Spud. Of spud course, Spud is the smart. Everyone can be Spud. Spud has the best answers and conversations. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, as we do that, Grayson, where are you in this moment? He is going to be heading downstairs because he did hear piano music before, so that's okay. where he's going to go. Alright, no problem. Okay, so you approach the uh, the Summer Eladrin. They are kind of dressed in just, you know, just a simple kind of uh, pants, trousers, kind of a green, like mostly like hues of greens and browns, just very natural color. Mm -hmm. Their uh, long kind of golden hair is just a little bit messily pulled back into like a simple braid while just like a few locks just kind of hang down from their from their face. Mm -hmm. okay. Um Java just probably being like as a means of an icebreaker, just kind of like you know, a few years ago you could never have gotten me on a ship like this. <laughs> they kind of a little bit startled at your approach, but then why and why is that? I can't swim. You want to hear a secret? Neither can I. <laughs> but some, I guess sometimes we just end up doing things we don't want to, but merely because we have to. Yeah. <laughs> also, um, where is Eleanor? Eleanor? Uh, you would have seen her, uh, I guess if you at any point had decided were uh, down in the in the galley of the ship, she would have been there. And if you would have went up, she would have just said, "I'm I'm fine down here, thanks." <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> I'm not I'm I'm not too keen on the on the on the sunlight, thanks. Mm -hmm. More power to you. <laughs> Another thing: Have they also started? Like, I guess serving. Dinner, dinner would have that. been served at this point, so yeah. Okay, well, I guess she'll ask if they got anything. This is again ice breaking, trying to kind of like bingle around with get insight on people. Words are hard. <laughs> Words are hard. Uh, oh no, I've I I had a bit to eat. Yes, I'm I'm fine, thank you. I, you know, okay. <laughs> Feels awkward. <laughs> awkward conversation. You're doing so great. Oh god. That's what happens so, when you don't have a bonus to your charisma. It's <laughs> fine. Black charisma. So tell me what uh why are you forced to be on this ship, if I may ask? Traveling. I should have expected that as an answer. Uh, it's supposed to water deep. That is where the ship's heading, right? <laughs> I certainly would hope so. I have business there. Really, what kind? Oh, just meeting some family of mine. That sounds lovely. Yes, it's been doing her damnedest to sound also very convincing with that. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's been quite quite a long time since I've reunited with them, and I greatly look forward to it. I'm, uh, I will say, I am a bit nervous. It's because it's been some time. I'm afraid of. I guess you could say reconnecting. <clears throat> yep. More power to you on that. Can't do that. Do you have family? At this point, I don't know anymore. Oof. <laughs> I didn't exactly really call them family, but... Ah, okay. Um, well, that or just kind of like looking at looking at them, just like I, I'm a I, I'm a drow. I mean, I mean, I can see that obviously. I didn't exactly grow up in the greatest of circumstances. I I have definitely heard stories of the Underdark, and I'm. I'm certain it's not as pleasant. Definitely not pleasant. Yeah. 
It's not. <laughs> well, this conversation's getting very awkward. You know, I'm just gonna go over there. <laughs> Alright, have a good night then. And she's gonna walk away like, fuck. <laughs> Shut up. You poor thing. Just goes and sits next to... Sits next to Fox, like, talking with people's heart. Okay. I completely As... forgot that my mic was off. As you approach Fox, he's going to be leaning over to the water. Because uh, uh, I don't want people to hear me moving my feet. Um, oh. This is not easy. Uh, yeah, he's going to just be uh, uh, leaning over the water. Just talking to himself. No, if you want me to actually start talking to myself, but I will if you need me to. It's, 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 it's okay, she's over there because... As Fox, you will be uh, kind of nudged in the elbow by Spud. <laughs> Just kind of... <sighs> uh, he's gonna look to left and right. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then look towards, uh, thanks, Spud, and, uh, and, uh, and Donkey, because he can do that. Yeah, of course. Look over towards uh, uh, Jamba. I knew you get here. Just a minute ago. Ah, quiet. Talking with people is hard. Um. Yeah, I tend to notice that uh, people only want to talk about what they want to talk about. They don't actually listen to you. It's um, it's an odd thing most of us do. We're stuck in our own little heads and uh, everything be damned if it's not what we are individually wanting to discuss. What's your problem? Why, uh, why do you suck at talking to people? She's just gonna kind of sigh and just be like, I don't know. I'm trying to get an insight, just an idea of, like, the motives of people on the ship. I mean, the one guy... Kind of like not turning around and overall gesturing to the guy, but it's wow. like that was, you know, it's like seeing people that were at the at the party. Mm. I'm just wanting to get an idea of who could be on the ship that I guess would pose ill will towards us. Right have you um have you tried just asking them? They're not gonna answer, but you could. You uh you get to see if they get twitchy or nervous uh, when you ask them uncomfortable questions. Um, if they're flat out just flabbergasted at the audacity of you asking, uh, you know that they hold high value of yes or no. Um. They'll start becoming more and more uncomfortable with you when you ask them a direct question like that. You know not to trust them. At the same time, when shit hits the fan, you can't really trust most people anyway. Thanks, Fox. <laughs> no problem. Um, I'm gonna sleep on that. Always here to grant a good listen to anyone that wants. <laughs> no, but seriously, who are you? Uh, this is just that one. And I'm going to uh, very subtly turn my entire body to look at them. As subtly as a turtle can be, yes. <laughs> uh, and then uh, I'm gonna, I guess, like, have a mental image of them and I'll keep an eye on them. Yeah. As, you, as you'll see, it, it is uh, the uh, the same man who was attending to, uh, who was introduced as Galvin the Blue. He, uh, he stands kind of tall, very lean, kind of uh, golden tan skin, looks to be about mid-40s as he's wearing just a very simple, um, like, just a very simple, like, black headdress and then just black robes. As he's mostly covered, like he's very, he's very much like, except for his face, all skin is covered. All right. Uh, 
Nah. I guess I'm gonna uh, let Spud like. How much does a donkey weigh? Can I pick up a Spud? What's your strength? Seventeen. How much does? How <laughs> much does a donkey <laughs> weigh? <laughs> Depends on the donkey. Spud, Spud's in his older ages, 180 to a thousand pounds. Fuck, Spud. Woof. Spud, is, that's a that's a giant fucking. <laughs> well, that's that's a the mule. difference. Technically, Spud's considered a mule, not an. So you should be donkey. asking. You should be asking how much a mule weighs. Yeah, technically a mule. Even a three beat. copper. Yeah, three <laughs> copper usually. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try to pick Thank up Spud you. and That's put him on my lap like oh, you would a lap dog. An adult meal is eight twenty to one thousand pounds. Thank you, Jeremiah. That's, 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 uh, that's what we were at. That's Thank you, Jeremiah. That's what I was like. It's such a huge fucking like. It just is too much. Let's All assume right. that that Spud's a hefty boy. All right. So yeah, eight hundred twenty to a thousand pounds. So your choice. <laughs> Dang. Un, un, a man can lift a thousand pounds for a couple of seconds. I mean, Once. just to put him in your, just just to put him in your lap. Yeah, I, I'll say okay. Uh, I'm going to make all the grunting noises in the world. <laughs> just picturing this now, though. <laughs> and uh, as Fox, it's gonna be drawn as, later. As a. Uh, as Spud settles in, ah, shut up, it wasn't that uncomfortable. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> it was a little uncomfortable. I don't know. Well, you get used to it, I guess. <laughs> um, I don't know, because uh, I know Spud was speaking to me. Of course. Um, was that, uh... Was that a thing in that was loose, or was she actually out there in the water? Wait, one more time? Was that actually loose, or was that, or was I just imagining that? That's what's turning towards uh, Spud and asking him. So saying that that fox saw something on the water. Uh, uh well, Spud, uh, fox is asking Spud uh, to clarify if he did or didn't see it. There are a lot of strange things that can be seen at sea. Not all are explained. Alright. I'm sure some rest will do you good. I doesn't fucking know. I can't, you know that. <laughs> I'm messaging the DM right now. Oh, DM messages. Oh. Secret, Secret message. message. Secret DM messages. I don't know. Uh, uh, oh, I, I got you. Games. Okay, I got you. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. I'm gonna give you all those in a minute. Uh, probably okay. not today, but we'll do, give you all those. And Spud's going to tuck his big triangle head underneath your neck. <laughs> I think Fox might actually try to nap. It's not being so comfortable with him. Does that come? I don't know, but he's going to try. Okay. Me so and John was still just standing there, and she's just squinting at the donkey like, what secrets do you know? <laughs> <laughs> One big brown eye just <laughs> looks right at you. Super <laughs> sinister, just the eye. <laughs> Listen and glow. Just slowly slides over to look at John, but... And Jamba just like, you know what? Nope. I'm gonna ignore that. I'm gonna just... <laughs> Have a nightmare. <laughs> shittily attempting to meander with people. Because she's an awkward bean. Okay. And I will say... Uh, Burnerai, as you are in the midst of attempting to train Ro, uh, you will uh, kind of well, hold on. Let me find out. Okay. You will probably see her before you hear her. And by I mean see her before you hear her, you will kind of 
feel the need to kind of take a look around the ship again, and then next thing you know, there's the the small gnomish girl just kind of by your side. It's like it's waving at you. Hey! Um, we have open swords here. You need to be that way. Pull. <laughs> I'm not a little fine. further down. I'm I'll, fine where I'm at. I'll tell Spud to sheath his sword. You mean Ro? I'll do the same. Ro! Wow, Spud! <laughs> Spud, put it away! <laughs> I'll tell... I'll actually tell Ro to sheath his sword and... I'll sheath my sword as well, but I'll... I'll, 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 do, I'll do, do it first so that he'll see how to properly sheath it because... Right. It, He's it's, a training it's still, samurai at the moment. It's, it's, it's still <laughs> awkward. Like the, the sword is still too big and awkward for this kobold's hand. So he's yeah. like very carefully trying to like stick it into the into the into the case and just very once he finally gets it to click shut, he just looks at you like I did it. Yes. Good job, Paul. Paul. <laughs> oh my god! Up at his head. As he'll just kind of rub his head up in your <laughs> yeah. hand, like. <laughs> <laughs> like a cat one. Do you need something? I'll look at the... What's the name of the gnome? Oh, she never gave it. Oh, okay. Do you need something? Bo I was just curious. Just hanging around. Are you curious so for the anything? way of the samurai? <laughs> no, I was just curious because I've never really seen a kobold up close before. They're usually out in the wild and eating something questionable, you know. I don't spend a lot of time in the wild. I'm more of a city girl myself. Doggo, hold one second. Bark, bark. Doggo sounded like the most intimidating kobold ever. It was uh, Ro being jealous because I'm oh, talking to someone. Oh, wow. that's, that's not what it was. <laughs> uh, <laughs> while the dog is being given lovies to distract him. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm more of a city girl myself, so... So, Green Dragon, that was fun, right? Remember that? That was like, what, yesterday? Green Green Dragon. Oh, that thing! It never see it. it never saw me. I was safe. It never saw me either. That's usually you, the advantage of smaller people. Stuff. That's the There's, advantage of being tiny. Voice off the side. Like like I am not tall myself, but I can fly. And it never saw me. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's. I'm pretty sure he maybe needed his eyes checked because you are very bright red. Am I? <laughs> As I'm looking at my feathers, I thought I was a dark red. Are dragons colorblind? <laughs> <laughs> Discuss next time on our podcast. <laughs> yeah, so. I used to be a brown bird before. <laughs> the deep bird eye lore we just received. <laughs> oh my goodness. You don't need to know why I turned red. I would rather not. No. You don't want to know. <laughs> I, there's a reason why I usually wear all black, so. <laughs> Do you hide places? Hide in plain sight. Well, if I'm hiding, well, if I'm hiding in places, then I'm not going to wear black, now, am I? That's true. That's why I'm all red. <laughs> You're doing such a great job. Have you ever thought of being a thief? I think you do very no, well. That is not an honorable samurai thing to do. Pull. <laughs> no, I mean it pays well. It pays well to be lawful. And abide by law. Eh, and semantics. the honor code of the samurai. <laughs> Again, semantics. Also boring. Anyway, so... You know, we've been on the sea for a bit. A whole day. It's more than I ever want to be. That's more than I want to be. I'd rather be flying in the air than be stuck here in the boat. Wonder how long it'd take you to fly to water deep from here. Uh, I don't know. If I'm flying the boat, maybe it'll be fine. I can fly for months without resting. Think you're faster than a rowboat? A rowboat? Yes. 
This sailboat? I don't think so. <laughs> mm. Noted. Okay. Just wondering. Anyway, um, just I guess wanted to check in and see how everybody was doing mentally after that whole fiasco. And I guess oh, oh is this gnome woman? She's a gnome. She's very tiny. <laughs> gnome or oh, like I'm... three yeah, yeah. feet tall. Okay. Well, that's not yeah. Three, two, I'm, I'm two to three feet. They're they're very <laughs> okay. tiny. Yeah, Burger Eye's tiny too. <laughs> Burger Eye's like I think five foot something. Five foot flat. <laughs> five foot flat. So you're the same height as Fox. So you yes. Dude, tower. John was taller than <laughs> John was taller than Fox and Burger Eye. Yes. So anyway, oh, no, you... no. <laughs> <laughs> it's all legs. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not the legs is tall. Legs is taller than the the, the bird ride. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, I just wanted to check in, and you know, I know we're all trapped on a ship together for the next couple of days, but you know, I know, I know. <laughs> I know. What do you think about everyone here? Think there's anybody weird? At I the like moment, weird. He, at the moment, you. I like you. <laughs> I like me too. <laughs> I was just wondering if you've seen anybody weird, and if you do see anybody weird, can you let me know? There's like not one. Out. There's a one leg boy that can't stand up sometimes. Which one? There's two of them. There's two of them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. If there's a burger. I I don't know if there's two. You know, like everybody's got more legs than me, so you gotta really like point them out to me. You all look the know. same from down here. The one with the. The one with the very high boots and the gray hair. Oh, pretty boy. Got it. He looks rich. I, I guess. <laughs> I guess. And then I'll go do that to myself. I think I'm pretty. <laughs> I, mean, I think you're very pretty. <laughs> think he carries anything interesting on him? Uh, you might have to check his boots. That's very long. I don't know what he hides in there. I, oh. I, don't, I, I don't care what's in his boots. I'm kind of curious what's on his boots. Is it all legs or is it just pants? <laughs> I really don't want to know. <laughs> I feel like you're the wrong person to be asking these questions. Well, you're the one asking me, so. I don't know. That was my mistake to make. Anyway, I'm going to leave now, so. Put a And she just walks away. Damn. <laughs> uh. What time is it? Uh, I'm going to say it's about 9 o'clock at night at this point. Um, then I guess I'll tell Ro to rest up and we'll start again the next day. Okay. As I grab um, my sword my sword back from him because don't hurt yourself. <laughs> I will never hurt myself. Uh, I will give you a proper sword when you are ready. Ah! For now, we can we will use the bow. Use the bow, bow. Kuro po. Kuro po. Now rest up. We will have hard training tomorrow. As he gives you a tiny little salute and goes to hang out with his uh, cobalt friends, and they do not go to sleep because cobalts are nocturnal. <laughs> and. I will actually eye on him. Go to sleep! I will eye to him, and then I'll fly now, slowly up. All here. eyes, like, immediately turn on you, and then, like, the little candlelight, it, the eyes just, like, do that, like, reflecting thing that the raccoons yeah. do. <laughs> <laughs> That's totally not scary. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> but I will, I will keep my cool. Like, that made me jump a little bit. That's, but... <laughs> I'll keep my cool because I am Fox, in your attempt to trying to sleep, you see, you see Bird or I immediately just like fluff up and fright. It's like, <laughs> like I am trying to go fly back up to the perch to my normal spot. All right. As but you slowly, do. slowly flying, keep and watching them. All right. <laughs> I mean, as they notice that you're keeping an eye on them, they'll just like, sl like slowly start to like crawl into a cut into a into like a pile and just kind of lower their heads slowly <laughs> while they're right at you, just waiting, and then they'll close their eyes. 
And I'm just gonna walk by them, just like, what are you doing? We're pretending to be asleep <laughs> until the bird goes away. He <laughs> told us to go to sleep. <laughs> <But you're... laughs> diurnal animals confuse us. And... What was that? Diurnal animals confuse us. <laughs> That's the big word of the day, they know. <laughs> yes, it is confusing. Please get up. Is he gone? Is he gone? Uh, I should I should be pushed up by now, I guess. Alright, they'll all get up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just just stay. Jamba's gonna look at Boots and just be like, "Stay out of trouble. Just listen." Like, do I do I hear them being like, like scattering around, kind of? No, they're not. They're not gonna be loud about it. Cobalt's okay. are very, very sneaky. Yeah, she'll. Then just if not, me. I'll just yeah, I'll just sit on the perch. Okay. Keep keep yeah, an eye until I fall asleep. Okay. She'll just tell Boots to um, kind of like listen yes. around. Boots straightens up as you address her. Yeah, it's just like, you know, because I'm certain there would have been times where Jamu uh, had them as a unit. Well, yeah, I had them as a unit before, just, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. Remember? Low to the ground. Keep your ears open. Eyes open. Just listen. As they, as, she, as, as you tell her ears open, you see her little, her little fins on the side of her Ahead, just kind of like fan a bit. Mm-hmm. Here's open. She'll just kind of, kind of, kind of skitter off. Mm-hmm. Okay. As the night goes on, Bird or I, uh, for the most part, it'll be very quiet on your perch. Okay. Nothing, um, nothing that can really be seen on the horizon as it's completely pitch dark in. The moon itself is not much light to begin with. Yeah. Um, the only thing you will hear and everybody will hear at this point is this kind of um, muted below deck as the sound <clears throat> of uh, piano music starts to fill from the galley. Let's switch the music because I actually have piano music. I'm had to look for so long. Get those keyboards up. S. Checking, yeah. Oh, yes. Hi, Fifi. Hi. What are you up to this night? Um. If it's nighttime and I hear this piano music, I might be bugging whoever's playing. All right. Uh, as uh, Grayson also went to go check out the piano as well, um, you will see that it is actually Xavier who's at the piano as he's just kind of quietly playing to himself. Mm-hmm. I want to like scooch over and just like take up half the keyboard and continue where he's playing off. Okay. Um, roll me a performance check. Okay. I've done this Why? once before. Are you... Um, oh, that's a good heckin' plus one. Four. As you're you 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 know you're watching him as his uh, as his fingers find the spots as intent like the correct keys as intended and it looks very easy as he's doing it like this is a very you know slow song it's very 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 nice and you know it's like yeah I can do this all right and you're just like watching you're pacing yourself you're ready you're ready Dung! <laughs> as it hits the keys loud very awkwardly. <laughs> I'm gonna look at him like I'm very, very rusty. As as he kind of looks at you, as he he keeps going, and it's just like I, I'm not judging. (laughs) (laughs) It just kind of continues to play, a cobalt woofs in the distance. (laughs) Like as he's playing, the his tail just kind of swings behind him, like almost like a metronome as he. 
like just to keep t keep pace with himself. So, Grayson, you found the piano. Uh, he's just going to hang back by the door and just like kind of lean against it and just kind of listen. Okay. As a few, um, as a couple of people down below will kind of be listening as well. The um, the one kind of jumpy halfling, Aldor, uh, Eleanor, kind of kind of sits, you know, nearby, just kind of skirts neatly tucked around her as she listens. She's like, oh, that's so lovely. <laughs> and then um, also uh, the, the one tiefling that you have aptly named Big Red. Oh. As he just kind of sits passively just listening. I'm gonna go over to the piano and shoo Ophelia away. <laughs> <laughs> move, I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, move, but like very reluctantly. Like I was here first. I don't care. Move. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm gonna be like on the edge of the end, though. I'm still gonna be there, but like I'm not gonna be all the way off. As, as Yuli kind of is sitting on the, uh, kind, kind of leaning against the wall, like, arms tucked, uh, hands tucked under his armpits, as he just kind of looks at you, Fifi, and just shakes his head. Um, Grace is gonna try to play. Okay, uh, roll me performance. Fourteen. Fourteen? Alright. It's... It's it's kind of, you know, a, a little bit of hesitation as you go in, since this is not exactly a song you think you know. But you pick up the rhythm surprisingly easily as, as he's playing. And soon enough, it's like, no, no, wait, I, no, I have definitely heard this song before. And you play alongside, just hmm. almost, you know, completely in sync. What what song is this? It's as he kind of there's a look on his face as it looks like he's trying to choose his words carefully, but at the same time try to, you know, keep uh attention on boots. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Tries to keep attention on, on the keys itself. It's a um It's a song I learned growing up. Ah. My mother made me learn piano when I was a kid. She said it'd make me more interesting. I I learned from well, I I learned from my father and I liked listening to him play, so I wanted to learn how to play. Well, you're pretty good. You're I mean, I <laughs> <laughs> you say that, he immediately straightens up. <laughs> That's yeah, nice. I love it. It's been, a, it's been a while since I've played, maybe like a couple of, well, maybe about a year or two. That's no excuse. I know. <laughs> I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna snort from the end of the bench. <laughs> <laughs> Sophia sits on one thimble of a corner of the bench, just kind of <laughs> at this whole thing. Can I help you? No, I'm listening to the music. <laughs> That's the best way to do it. <laughs> It's a very nice song. It's almost like as as he's playing it, it almost sounds like a little bit somber. This, uh, I mean, this this was a song that well, my father wrote. So 
Yeah. Weren't you... You know what? I'm not even going to ask. I... it's... I don't know. I just... I don't know. That makes sense. No, <laughs> you can roll me an insight, Grayson. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask Sevy. I'm like, so who is your father? Nineteen. I got a twenty-three. Twenty-three. Eighteen plus he five. Definitely, he definitely looks like he's he's holding back. Like he wants to say something, but it's it's like he's mentally correcting himself. Okay, he'll totally fuck that up. <laughs> As you say, who's your father? He kind of slips a bit, and he gets a sour note. Because he just kind of stops, and it's like... Bang. <laughs> he's spit um... it out, kid. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, spit it out! So he looks to you, Grayson, then he looks to you, Ophelia, then he looks back at Grayson, and he just does not know what to say. Fox, it, uh, look, Fox told me that I should think for myself, and I should not... This is very confusing for me and very stressful. You literally showed up, started talking to me, say I was your father, with no context, <laughs> and you think it's completely fine and not confusing for me either. <laughs> I'm, like I'm a. I'm a. Sorry. You're what? <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna be like, look back and then forth and back and then forth and be like, what? Yeah, so, I mean, it's. Really weird and confusing right now, you know. As he just kind of gestures to himself, gestures to Grace, and it's like he's, 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 he's my dad. That's my dad. I'm like Grayson, you have another secret. I'll be like, wait, wait, no, wait. wait. You, yes, you have another. Shut the hell up, Ophelia. <laughs> <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> That's who Jamba should have had Wait. to go and talk to people over there. <laughs> Secrets? Secrets? Nothing. Really great She's story. obviously delusional. <laughs> I mean, you said the same thing to me. Everyone's delusional except me. Clearly. <laughs> Spot on. I mean, I mean she, he's not wrong. Like, I'm delusional. Yeah. That admit. really doesn't help my case now. <sighs> like, look, it's just... I don't know what happened. I... I, I know this is my fault. This is definitely my fault. And I'm just trying to find a way to fix it. He doesn't... He's not supposed to... As he kind of gestures to all of you, Gratian, he's not supposed to look like that. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> I'm like, is he supposed to look worse? I look great! <laughs> <laughs> How dare you! <laughs> you audacity. <laughs> what do you mean? You're supposed to- uh, how am I supposed to put this without you getting mad at me? <laughs> oh, we've far surpassed that. You might as well just spill it now. You're supposed to look old? Old? <sighs> I mean, he has some white hair already. I mean, no, yeah, that's, a th that's always been a thing. I will agree to that, it's always been a thing. Like, it's, it's, it's always been a thing, but it's just- it's- you know, so short, and his face is so smooth, and it's really weirding me out. I'm gonna just, I'm, I'm gonna just go. No, 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 no. It's no. wrinkly. <laughs> God. It's like, no, no, sit, sit, keep talking. We need I this really moment. Don't wanna, I really don't want to stay now. <laughs> I need to do more face masks. <laughs> It, sure, 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 Dad. Okay. 
Ugh. I mean, it's not a bad look. I don't even want to think about that. I, you know, I mean, <sighs> I, I'm just, I'm just gonna go to bed. It's fine. Just don't forget I said anything. It's look, but he's your daddy. He, I am, I am nobody's daddy. That. Please don't say that. <laughs> How dare you say that in front of me? Um, I want to look at Grace and be like, "What did you do? Who did you do it with?" Ophelia, that is a conversation for another day. I don't want to have this conversation at all, so I'm kind of just gonna get some. I'm just gonna leave, okay? Okay. Good. Just night. Just good night. Good day, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Adam. Ma'am. Ophi I said good day. <laughs> Ophelia's gonna get up when Xavier gets up and be like, do you, you want a hug? It might help. I, uh, uh, he just uh, completely loses his words and just holds his arms out. Just like, fine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Success. I'm hugging all the Tatarics. 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 Tatarix. 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 I feel like this is the kind of conversation that's happening. It's not Tatar. Tatarix. Cream of Tartar. Cream of Tartar. I just yeah, like, just 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 okay. I'm like, does anybody want food? <laughs> <laughs> Good timing, Jamba. Okay, that's sweet. Oh, I'm down here. I feel like you cut the tension with a knife. Right? Right, Boots? <laughs> As he, he hugs you and then kind of you know, steps back, gives a very, you know, polite and well-trained, you know, bow to you, Ophelia, and then just looks to you, Grayson, nods his head and just kind of walks, you know, walks off. <coughs> Essentially just kind of making his way to the, um, to the door where the sale room is. That was weird. What did you do to that poor boy? I did nothing! Uh-huh. <laughs> I didn't do anything! He showed- he was at the party, and then he came and got me and was like, Hey, you're my dad! And it was super weird, because we're the same age. And I've already had this conversation with Fox, and I really don't want to- I just need some tea. I mean, John. who would want to claim you as your fa their father? Willingly. First off, ouch. <laughs> Shh, it's okay. <laughs> and if you must know, I have always wanted kids. Well, there you go. You went past all the diapers and all that nasty stuff and went straight to a teenager. <laughs> what? You got a free one right over there? She has a point, though. She uh, I, I never thought of it that way. I huh. mean, a, he takes your orders. You told him to straighten up. He straightened up. He thinks of you as a father figure. There's something there. Uh, I guess. I, I, I mean, I talked to Fox about this, and... He was like, you're not his dad. Rawr. And then he just kind of <laughs> shuffled away. I'm getting a lot of mixed signals here from Fox. A plus Fox impression. That, that's the turtle. He might shuffled not have been his away. dad that he's thinking of. to be his father figure friend now in this moment. I guess I think that's a point. You don't have to live up to what he's thinking of, but you can just live up to what you want 
him to think of you as now. I suppose that's a good point. Well, I mean, if anybody it... plays the piano knife. <sighs> damn it, I feel like an ass now. <laughs> and that's rare for me. Go balance out the legs. <sighs> I don't know. Do you think I should go talk to him, or should I just leave him alone? Some space is always good. Maybe later, just a new day, a new start. Listen to what he has to say, listen to what you gotta say, and just kind of figure it out from there. Ophelia, why aren't you like this ever? <laughs> Normally. <laughs> you gotta have low expectations, and then just go above them for me. That's a really good strategy. <laughs> anyway, everyone I'm hungry. Think, everyone will think you're dumb, but you're actually really smart. That's really awesome. <laughs> yes. That's brilliant. I know. I feel he's been playing everyone the whole time. I've been just from the stairs. You listen to all of John, it. John. Anyway, so Grayson apparently has a son. <laughs> ha! And Ophelia's been playing all of y'all. Ophelia just kind of nods completely unfazed from his position, like, yeah. 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 I mean, it's my ship. It's her my ship. world. It's unfortunately her world. Yoli works for me, somehow. I unfortunately work for her. So... Give me a raise. So... There's food. <laughs> can can a, a fox wake up for a small amount of time and just look at everyone? Shut the fuck up, honestly. <laughs> fox, you somehow just just that change on the wind, just alerting you and waking you from your from your tiny nap, tiny. and you just feel compelled to tell everyone to shut the fuck up. His bullshit alarm was going off. <laughs> uh, bullshit alarm. Uh, I'm gonna go back to sleep thinking about everybody. Okay. As he kind of turtles more into his shell. <laughs> Sneak back into my shell. <laughs> kind of slowly just Again. Sinks. So yeah, there's food. Um, I don't know what we're having, but there's food. It's from what you've it's, seen. It's, 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 it's it's, it's, it's pretty made. It's good. It's it's a simple like rice porridge. Sweet. I'll be up in a minute. I'm gonna. Off. I'm gonna. Uh, start. Start. I'm just gonna sit here for a bit. Java's just gonna look at Grace and like you good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just. I miss playing the piano. It was nice to. Plunk around on this, I guess. As uh, at the at the mention of food, uh, Ophelia, uh, Yuli's gonna like tug on you to like feed me. Feed me. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> feed me. I'm like that's, okay. Let's go. Let's see if they have some of your juice. Juice. <laughs> Body juice. Give him the juice. give him the juice box. It's happy juice. It's happy juice. It's happy juice. <laughs> He's probably relieved now since there's more babysitters to watch me. Basically, it's just like a vacation for him at this moment. So as Fifi and and Yuli head upstairs, um, Eleanor uh, will kind of get up as well, kind of dust her skirts. Um, the halfling as well. We'll get up at the mention of food. Mm -hmm. uh, Eleanor kind of goes to you, and it's like, so uh, what's uh, what's on the menu? Is how many how many courses do we have? In oh, honey, <laughs> oh, honey, oh, honey. <laughs> uh, honey. Do we get to pick the appetizer? <laughs> oh, honey. <laughs> <Go ahead>. <laughs> <laughs> I just. Oh, sweetie, it's just rice porridge. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh, that sounds so rustic. Okay, let's let's go. <laughs> it sounds so rustic. 
I know what that means, Vic. <laughs> <laughs> I am educated. <laughs> They're secretly on my brainwave. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. So. Yeah, just. Oh, I'm sure there's better stuff when we get to Waterdeep. Oh, that's what I hear. I've I've, I've always wanted to visit Waterdeep. I didn't get to spend much time outside the house. And we're, you know, married, and I didn't have quite a good concept of marriage given the the background I've had. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so she'll follow you up to go get food. Mm -hmm. And so, Grayson, that leaves you alone with the piano and one audience member who has yet to move. Great. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and I, I know it's who it is, right? Yeah, it's the the big red tea flame. Yeah. yeah. Big Red, okay. Big um, Red, as, as you have named him, yes. Uh, what level is that? Two. I'm gonna go ahead and cast to detect thoughts and just have it Correct. on. Okay. Boof. Boof is alerted. A boof. A boof. Boof. <laughs> Okay. okay. <clears throat> Alright, so you cast Detect Thoughts. <laughs> As he... The, I guess the... I, the immediate thought uh, that that hits first is... That was fucking awkward. <laughs> <laughs> is Grayson playing the piano, or is he just sitting out there? Uh, is he still playing the piano? That's up to you. Yeah, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say yeah, he's gonna be playing the piano, so... Okay. Um... And he's just gonna say out loud, Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, as... Yeah, he would figure at that point, yeah, okay. It's like, um... I'm trying to think. I actually have my notes, damn it. I have notes! I just never use them. I well, the thing is, I have my written notes, and then I have notes that I write during the day that like cross my mind, and then I just always forget about the notes I have on my phone. So that's always helpful. So as um, you're playing, and there's just kind of a moment of where you you hear the thought of. Huh. That's it? Huh? <laughs> yeah, basically. I, I thought you were still thinking. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, <laughs> that's, that's, that's what I... Huh. Are you here to tell me I'm crazy, too? Uh, I might be just as crazy. How? Is it the mute thing? Uh, I don't know at this point. I, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's just all kind of weird and fuzzy and now, and pieces just kind of come and go. And I just noticed that you have a tattoo on the back of your neck. What? <laughs> 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 he just immediately goes like that. Yeah, it's um, you you have it. Yeah. It's I guess it's like a I don't I don't fucking know. It's like a weird minimalist thing. It's you've got like these two two dots, and then you've got like three little dots underneath. Does that mean anything? Did I did I get a tattoo when I was drunk or? I don't. I don't. I. I don't know. Are you sure? Pro 
then you probably did. <laughs> Does it look badass? <laughs> I, I, it looks. How am I supposed to put this? You better say it looks cool. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like the same one I have. Maybe it's a common thing? <laughs> <laughs> Can I you... see what you want? <laughs> I, mean, I, want, I, I would like yeah. to know what it looks like. I can't see. As... I think at this point, um, <laughs> I have to wait for Jesus to get back for this. <laughs> Damn it, Jesus! He's too busy I, skipping. He's too busy skipping right now. It's fine. I, All right, I'll, I, I can't. You turn around. No, not yet. He's. I. I don't remember a good chunk of. A part. Uh, I. I don't know. I apparently I was gone for a year or so, and I have no memory of it. And it's really fucking with me. <laughs> yeah, I. I have absolutely no concept of time anymore. Did. Did you. Did you want to see the tattoo? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Vic, I told you today was going to be a weird day for me. This is so weird. <laughs> That's where I asked the question. Do you turn around? Yes. Okay. He was he was literally standing there with oh, the okay. Hey! He just wanted me for you to turn around. Oh, Jesus, he's <laughs> back. Cool. So, um... <laughs> and now that Jesus is back, I get to officially do this, and I'm super excited to do this. Wait, I'm waiting from... Headphones, headphones. I'm waiting put his headphones on. You need, you need, yeah, he needs, he he needs to on. catch up on yeah, every hair. 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 Come on. Hair. Okay. Hair. Beautiful hair. hair. All right. Now that your headphones are on and now that you're Jesus. back, because I was stalling this, I wanted, to actually, I actually wanted to do this as a DM and I'm very excited to do it. I need everybody but Grayson to like mute and leave. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of shit? <laughs> it's okay, but, like, do you want to like actually us to leave or what? I mean, if you guys want to like, close, like, like, kind of, like put your icons up or whatever, or, you're just like just okay. yourself down that oh. step out of the room. You don't have to. I mean, like, I'll take my headphones. Y'all, y'all don't have to physically leave. This one has to physically leave the room. That's some bullshit. <laughs> like, okay. But y'all can just like, just like, just mute I'm yourselves. Uh, just mute okay. yourselves and like. You can just hang, and I'll message you when it's time to come back. Like mute, not not be able to hear your conversations, right? Yes, yes. Okay, mute so that oh, yeah, I'm not. Oh. And, you know, I'll have to take Hello. that at face value because yeah. we're all on the internet. Well, te- yeah, wall. technically they can all just watch on Twitch. They could just technically watch on Twitch. I've done that before. Like it's the thing. So, all right. So y'all can just like mute yourselves, and if you want to, if you want to hide your faces, that's fine. I'll message the group when it's time to come back. I'm going to assume that they're muted. Because <laughs> they're not responding. <laughs> okay, so. Grayson. We're doing this. Oh no, I'm <laughs> scared now. <laughs> As. You, he kind of, you know, is just kind of standing there, just like, showing you. And you will see on his chest, like, you know, just like, in, right in the center of his chest, there is, uh. Sternum. The st- sternum thank you that's the word yeah so yeah. right like on the, like on his sternum is the same as he had described two two large dots followed by three smaller ones and, and you have no idea what it means i really don't and i my and my him whatever i don't fucking know what's going on i'm really confused i'm fucking frustrated that i can't talk like my fucking throat doesn't work. 
wanted to scream for so goddamn long. And the, I mean, and and you know, I wake up and I have two these two little kids that you know call me dad, and it's weird, and I don't know who the fuck I am. Like I don't know what's going on. The the one that was just down here playing the piano did the same thing to me. Yeah, no, he's I. Yeah, I, I think he's one of them too. Uh, Wait, he's one of them. Well, I, you know, they're. I think There's they're all related. I think they're all related. They all look related. Uh, and it's my fucking luck that they so, all look like me. Uh, you've got two saying they're yours, and that one saying they're mine. I think no, the the, the, the tall one, the tall one calls me pops or some shit. I don't know. It's. I'm tolerating it at this point. Yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing, too. I don't... I feel like I'm not supposed to be here. This is not right. I don't know... Like, I don't remember a goddamn thing, but I feel like this isn't right. I... I feel the same. I mean, I... And just, you know, having dreams that don't make any fucking sense like some like I don't know a fucking castle in the woods uh, there's sometimes the castle, shit's on the castle the castle in the woods and it's on fire how the fuck did you, okay I mean I know you're reading my thoughts but am I thinking that far ahead I had the same one what How did you break off your horn? I don't know. Grayson's gonna pull it out of his bag. As he kind of looks at it. I woke that... up with this. And I don't know what it is. Uh, as he kind of <laughs> looks at it. And he kind of, with his hands, stops us in. Just like, uh... That, I mean, that, that's weird. That's, that's really weird. Mate, that's really fucking weird. I don't know what's happening anymore. I don't either. I just know that this isn't right. And I don't know if somebody's fucking with my head. Or our head, apparently. Our, uh, our head. I guess we're in this bullshit together. I mean, what? The, the tall one, he does magic, right? That's the thing. That, you don't I think- I do magic. Oh. You do magic. Okay. <sighs> I mean, if you ask him, he's got the same marks, so I don't know if maybe all three of us are being fucked with. Because why the fuck doing? is- What are you doing on the boat? I was- I- it felt like the right thing to do. Just, I felt like being at sea would give me answers. It would give me some kind of fucking clarity. It felt safe. And I'm apparently very fucking good at it, thank you. Apparently I am too. At least with knots and telling people what to do. Yeah, you are kind of bossy. I'm like, well, yeah. If people <laughs> do things right, it wouldn't be a problem. It's, okay. <sighs> but thanks for saving my ass the other day too. Yeah, you. Yeah, you gotta watch it on the gangway. I mean, you don't look very. Uh. uh well balanced. No, I'm not. I've never been no. well balanced, but I, uh, anyway. I don't, anyway um, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I, I just looked at you and I felt like, no, that idiot's gonna fall. So, oh, thanks. It's. I mean, it's better than letting you fall, I guess. I. I mean, people give a shit about you. Do they though? 
I almost died. I mean... I mean, at least the- Before- Before I lost my memory, I got the shit kicked out of me, and I recently learned that it was my mother who sent them to try to kill me. And okay. apparently she killed my father, and I'm not a well-liked person, I guess. Can I be up front with you? Yeah. Your mother sounds like a bitch. She's such a bitch. <laughs> but that's uh, all I remember. It's funny how, you know, I lose my memories, but all those ones stick. Things I don't remember, people still blame me for. Uh, things I remember. <laughs> not that I feel like you know it I, I it's I, I it really kind of fuels the idea that I really shouldn't be the dice just fell on their own that was creepy oh God. <laughs> what did it roll I rolled a two. Oh no <laughs> um no it's I, I I don't know I from what I remember it's really shitty and it just kind of, you know, makes me feel like I'm right in thinking that I definitely am in the wrong place with these kids. This is not... I can't take care of them. I mean, thank thank God the tiny one knows what's, what, what they're doing. The, the tiny one? Yeah, the, real, the really, really small one. Well, who's that? Uh, his name's Phoebus. He's, like, stupidly smart. That's my middle name. What? That's my middle name. I feel like the more we talk about this, the more weird it's gonna get. I mean, uh, what do we do? I, I guess just compare notes at this point. Kid's name is Phoebus. Your middle name is Phoebus. There's- the, the girl's name is Sybil. Um, I don't have anyone in my family named Sybil. Okay. I don't think I do either. Did I know a Sybil? Did I know one once? No. I don't fucking know. Uh, <laughs> fucking knows. The tall one. Xavier. Yeah. I don't... No. Is... Uh, he's he introduced himself to me as uh, as as Xavier Xavier Tab and Tatterick. That's what he said. I guess he was trying to like get something to click. Tabin's my father's name. Again, the more I talk, the weirder it gets. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? I don't I, know. They're linking like, more to me than you, though. I, Except clearly. Clear. Because the only things I remember are fire and screams and blood and so much blood. I think I was in hell. Is there a difference anymore? I No, I think I was literally in hell. Oh. Oh. So I don't know what the connection is. I mean, I guess the only connection is that they're tieflings, and I'm a tiefling, but that's a very broad connection to make. And yeah. you... I woke up missing a horn, and you are holding one. I'm very confused. Is it yours? I... I, I mean, it doesn't look like mine. I don't know. I don't know how tieflings work. It, it looks pretty similar to the, to the remaining one he has on his head. Can, can you... Can it... Can we put it on? You can certainly try. I, I'm just gonna put it on there and see if it, like, fits. Okay. Uh, you kind of go to kind of uh, attach it, and it it does look like it. it the width is the same, and like it looks like it very much matches the other one. Is it working? What the fuck's going on? It fits. 
Yeah, this isn't weird at all. Nope. I need a drink. I would like one too, but I feel like every time I'm in the vicinity of that turtle, I get really fucking bad stink eye, and I don't know what the fuck I did to him. Uh, welcome to my life. I feel like I think that yeah. I think that honestly, just his eye, he might have cataracts. <laughs> I, I don't. I I get a weird feeling around him. I don't well, know if it's a good or bad one yet. He can go fuck himself. You are a man that can go and have a drink if you want to. Okay. Um. Fuck it. Drink. Dr drinks. Fuck it. Drink. All right. Um, Do you play okay. chess by chance? I'm willing to try. We should we should play some chess and talk this over just a little bit more. I mean, as however long your spell lasts, then fine. I, I guess we can. Like, I don't know. It's just so. I, I it just feels nice to talk to someone for once. <laughs> yeah. Same. Same. Uh, usually, I write everything down. Uh, yeah, that's that's smart. I should probably do that. It's, it's really hard to communicate with people. I. I mean, I guess. I mean, the, the, the little shits think they can get away with whatever they want just because I can't talk to them. But especially Sybil, God damn it, little brat. Who the fuck raised her? Uh, maybe I should talk to them too. It's, it's worth a shot. Combined efforts? Uh, to make them drink less first. shitty? <laughs> drink, drink first. <laughs> drink first. Okay. Yeah. Let's as go. You, as you both head up to uh, go get a get a little bit of a meal, get a get a drink, and I will call everyone back. And then we can go on break. Uh, How you feeling? Uh, <laughs> Let me go yell. What secrets were halved? I don't know. Secrets. 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 So oh, many secrets. secrets. As... All the secrets. Yep. Sit. As we all come back, and I wait for Jesus, and okay, so I think now's a good point to take a break. And... <laughs> <laughs> I will mute it so nobody heard that on chat, but I will repeat myself, motherfucker. As, <laughs> as, as the night comes to close, um, everybody getting a little bit of a meal, uh, Grayson heading up with the uh, with with the big red tiefling. Big red, as he uh, affectionately calls him now, and um, affectionately, uh, that's what he's calling him. <laughs> <laughs> as uh, they both uh, get a drink together and seem to be having almost in a way like how you and to everyone else, you and Spud have one sided conversations. Grayson seems to be having his own one sided conversation. Um sure it's one of something. Okay. So we'll take a break there. We'll come back in 15, guys. Alright. See you guys in a bit.
Uh, hey, yo, Vic, uh, I've got the new script you sent us for the next episode. Um, so, we have new players? Who's, who's Grayson? Yeah, yeah. Guys? yeah, I'm reading that too. What's this, Tori Val? Tori Val? So we have new players? New, new players? Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, dude. Uh, so, it also says that the schedules change. We're playing on Mondays now? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what happened to Tuesday? That was team out. Tuesday. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Uh, and uh, just just one last little thing. Um, uh, uh, it's online now. Yeah. Yeah. That. Uh, so we're not we're not playing in the studio anymore. It's it's all online. <laughs> all right, man. That fucking works for me. All right. See you later. Bye. Bye. We are back. Awesome. So, all right. So, essentially, we end the night with some drinks, with some good food, mm -hmm. and yay, much. rice porridge. I'm trying to get my Twitch back open. Eleanor was a little less enthused about it, but Aww. you know, she ate. It's fine. Um, so it's all right. Stop it. Oh my God! The dog is alerted. <laughs> Wow. The kobolds are awake. The kobolds <laughs> are awake. Oh my. One of these days, you know, dog. in like five years from now, we'll have our very own studio and we'll have a dog daycare and then all the dogs yeah. will bark at the same time. Oh goodness. Because <laughs> anytime that uh, that a donut uh, <coughs> teal chirps, uh, Cinnabon, my Corgo, he decides that he needs to explode and yap for the next 30 minutes. And anytime any of my rabbits thump or uh, breathe, he also decides that it's the perfect time to start yelling. Yeah, it's so precious. I love Donut. Donut's not real, though. Donut's, donut's the best surveillance drone ever. <laughs> I remember when he popped up at Vic that one time. No, oh, oh, he he wanted to. I, I felt like he wanted to square up at me, but I think he was like trying to do a mating dance at me, and it was really weird <laughs> and awkward for everyone involved. You should just ask Jeremiah. See what uh, what he was trying. Jeremiah, to do. Jeremiah, I need I need help with the I, I need help with a bird question. <laughs> um, don't be racist, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I was but just. This is what you're okay. Okay. That's a green bird. I'm a red bird. <laughs> That's right. That is why. Because my brother came home. Okay. That's why the dog was yelling. I know that one. I know that person. Okay. So, as we continue into... All right. So we all enjoy a nice meal for the night. We settle down. Um, getting a good night sleep, depending on what your character's definition of a good night's sleep is. Uh, yeah. Uh, let me know when it's six o'clock in the morning i will let you i will let you know when it is exactly oh, no. 5 30 a.m sir okay okay <laughs> so i will <laughs> actually continue on a bit with um after the uh 
very strange and very confusing discussion that you had had, um, Grayson. You um, settle down uh, in the crew's quarters for your night's sleep. Which I'm, I'm going to assume you're sleeping in the crew's quarters unless you stayed otherwise. Unless there's isn't, something better I can this, sneak into. This, unfortunately, this is a luxury uh-huh. liner, and there's very limited rooms. Disgusting. I mean, Steal the only the person who has her own room is actually Ophelia. And uh, uh. I think she typically shares it with Yuli. There's like two beds in there, so. Ew, they can keep it. <laughs> but other than that, the cruise quarters is just essentially just, you know, hammocks hung wherever they fit, uh, cots on the floor for people to sleep. So, uh, take your pick for comfort. He'll t- okay. On the floor. Well, yeah, he'll take a hammock. He'll take a hammock. Oh. Okay. So, you, uh, as you settle down to sleep, Grayson, um, uh, lots of strange thoughts just kind of ruminating in your head for a while and eventually sleep does come to you and then as sleep comes to you you find yourself in that same place that you had described in that in in that castle tucked away god knows where you find yourself sitting in um, a bedroom, but the details are fuzzy. Everywhere you look, it's almost as if your vision is just not quite there, just almost obscured, if anything. Huh. I actually have a thing. I'm I'll very scared. Minute. I'll get it in a minute. Okay. I'll, I'll put it up in a minute. But as you sit there in you sit there in a lone chair you're he's looking like he wants to bark and I'm scared <laughs> champ please think of the viewers please think of Jesus as he has to edit this with headphones <laughs> that's, that's true be kind which for the record I am going to apologize in advance for the Saturday stream because he scared the shit out of me so, yeah, I, uh, I heard that. <laughs> so, so yeah, have fun with that. So <laughs> you, so sitting, so Grayson sitting alone in a bedroom, um, before a bed, but you, the, just the shapes and shadows <gasps> of the night, <laughs> <laughs> uh, of just your mind just completely fuzzy, unable to focus on one thing in particular, except for where you're sitting currently in a chair. Your hands and your arms kind of clutched tight to your chest as you shake and you feel cold and very, very scared in this moment. You look, you you try to look around and try to get your bearings, but the room itself doesn't quite come together from the shadows you the most you can make out is the foot of a bed a, a book on the bed uh, open on the bed uh, bed sheets kind of soaked in blood and you just a, a tiny tiny warmth against your chest as you were clutching your hands And then you wake up. And when you wake up, um, you will find your hammock. You are not the only one in your hammock, as there is a very small child kind of curled on your chest. Oh, oh no! Th- I look at them? It's 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 the one that that was described to you, uh, the tiny one, Phoebus. Oh, oh no! <laughs> as they, Are you as, yes, he is curled up asleep on your on your chest like a tiny little cat. Oh, 
Oh. Oh no. Okay. Um. <laughs> oh god, I'm trying to think of what Grayson would do. There's a <laughs> you wake up and there's a strange child sleeping <laughs> with you in your bed. What How do you dare do? you? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> the audacity. <laughs> Would, do I know it's it's that one? Like I, I recognize it as that one. The, there have that only one. been there have only been two small children on this ship for the entirety of your voyage. Reason. You know this one and that one. But I know that one's Phoebus. Like that one. Yeah. Yeah. As you were, it was described to you, Phoebus is the tiny one. Sybil is the loud, okay. annoying one. And Zevie is being described as the tall, weird one. Tall one. Tall one. Yeah. Grayson's just not gonna move. <laughs> Confused. And he's just gonna, like... Phoebus? As, um... He... As, as you gently call to him, his... He, you see him stir slightly as he kind of looks up at you um, kind of blinking, like, sleepily with, with his, um, uh, with those big green eyes. It's just... I had a nightmare. Me too. As he, um... I gotta think about this carefully. Hey, John, but you only sleep four hours. What have you been up to? <laughs> this is actually a very important question. Oh, God. I guess freaking wandering around. She's just keeping an eye on stuff, too. Anywhere in particular? Above deck, below... Probably below deck, for the most part. Once she sees nothing really going on above, and everybody kind of uh, go back to their quarters, she would have gone downstairs. I'm gonna text you something really quick. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> secret secret DM text! Secret message. Oh, oh, the name of the episode will be Secret Messages. Or secret sex. messages! Yes. Secret messages! Secret messages! Honestly, secret secret episode just name me dumb secrets. Grease. <laughs> no, just name it Grease It Up Cinderella. <laughs> Snoring. Just fade into black. I swear to God, Jesus. <laughs> you did nothing wrong. I really, okay, I really want that on a shirt with Grayson's like face. <laughs> and then none of us will ever watch he's the episode like, and know what the fuck you're talking about, but we'll all buy he's, the shirt. He's, he's holding a mimosa. <laughs> I, I would 100 I mean, I know what he'd be holding, and that would just make the shirt even worse. Uh, <laughs> the left one or right? <laughs> <laughs> it's his favorite. A fuzzy pickle? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, now is now's the now's the uh, the part where I talk about my favorite delicacy that I pick up at Bucky's every time I'm traveling to uh, play home games with Divine and Conquer. Uh, tap of the nose. Every time, no, every time I go, every time I go to Bucky's, I will always pick up one Big Papa, just for the road. What the fuck is a Big Papa? Hell yeah! It's, a, it's the it's the bag pickles. It's called Big those Papa. So, those are so good. I love I it. Have, What's your favorite one? I, I just like the regular kind. The zesty kind oh. is actually very good. That was good. Hold on. Big Papa. You. You yeah. guys. You guys. <laughs> what are we talking about now? <laughs> we didn't name them, okay? Oh, I, I understand that. <laughs> 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 I do like the zesty Big Papa Hootie Chained, you are correct 
Hi, the fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes we learn things about our friends. Okay, if that's the case, <laughs> Grayson, if you are too busy, to, you may be talking to this child, but there's Janva, maybe 15 feet away, just like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Huh? What? Secrets. What's happening? More oh, secrets. Very secrets. Jesus, it doesn't feel so good, does it? More secret messages. They want more secrets. John, but what's what's your yeah. Yeah. Okay. I was making sure you got it, just to understand what the situation is. Okay. So, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Just go. John, (laughs) but she's probably gonna look down at her coffee and just fucking walk back upstairs like the fuck. (laughs) <laughs> There's the tiny little feet that just kind of snuggles back on on top of you. Just kind of, you know, just kind of just going back to sleep. Like, okay, good night. Murderite <laughs> <laughs> is now five thirty a.m. Oh, oh no, no. Grappa. <laughs> Grappa. <laughs> Damn. Wow. <laughs> Can I say, damn. <laughs> Grayson, and with that, you will see Jama walk over and just walk off the office. I'm sorry, Grayson, what? Grayson That's the third like, crow. He's just like, what the <laughs> hell is that? <laughs> I think I'm going to have a cough later. <laughs> that didn't sound proper. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> well, if I wasn't up to my usual standard. <laughs> I can do better. I can do so much better. As everybody is awoken by the ship's alarm, which is Bird Eye, <laughs> the second day of your voyage begins. <laughs> As crew members start getting ready, readying the sails for hopefully good winds, uh, raising the anchor as... Uh, Captain Zanebe takes the helm first light, mm-hmm. and the day continues on as it as it does. Everything runs smoothly. Mm-hmm. Um, yes. Yeah. Java's gonna look up to Birderai and be like, "Hey, Birderai, can you fly down here for a minute? Oh yeah, after after I did my third crow, he was gonna fly back down. But, he is yeah. down on the ship. And all the I'm gonna just say all the kobolds would have tucked themselves away under the deck. Mm-hmm. As it is sunny and bright outside, and they're gonna just eh, nah. Uh, Java would have asked uh, if she has heard anything or seen anything. Yes, I have, and she will pull out a tiny notepad oh, of her findings. Which, when you actually look at the notepad, it's just complete scribbles. But she wrote wrote her notes down. Oh, remember. (laughs) Java is so used to this. (laughs) Uh, And she will tell you, uh, because I'm not going to sit here for like five minutes doing cobalt (laughs) books. Commitment I do not have. Uh, Yes, you As she will tell you, um, she would have heard throughout the night uh, somebody sneaking around on the ship. She heard someone sneaking around? She heard... Um, she would have done as she was told. Uh, she would have pretended to be asleep, because that is... Just, or just like, you know, fame possum, as is this tactic for kobolds. Yes. Hiding under whatever she could squirm away into, and would have listened and heard uh, footsteps shuffling around, uh, especially around the cargo. Around the cargo, okay. Yeah, around like the barrels and crates and things that are currently being shipped at the moment. Okay, which you would know is uh, some of the loot that's marked for the cult. Okay. Uh, okay. And they didn't sound heavy or light. No, they or... sounded really big. 
really big. Really big footsteps. Huh. Okay. There's only two potential people I can think that that could belong to. All the ones that are on the ship, but... I mean, there's so many big people on the ship, I'm gonna be honest I with you. I for... All right. It sounded like they were looking for something. Mm. Okay. Good job. Yes, of course I do. Good job. <laughs> you know what? So. John was just going to mention it to the booth, just like, I'm going to be sure to get you guys a really nice shiny thing when we get into uh See the kobold's eyes get really big. <laughs> Dilating in a way like a cat does when it sees something it really likes. <laughs> and it's about oh. to enter pounce mode. Okay. <laughs> yeah, pretty much with that then, she'll uh, ask for her idea, like, come down and see about uh, trying the shenanigans again. Uh oh. What shenanigans? Oh, that thing again. Yes. Please. Yeah, the thing. Then, I guess we go back to the same room. Do, do oh. I, does, does Fox see all this? Or I mean, if you're on the top deck talking, I'm pretty sure more than one person sees this. Okay. Massage. That's how she's gonna put it. <laughs> so Fox John, but just says massage to you. Okay, then Fox doesn't understand what that means. I'm gonna look at huh? it really weird. Fox you have She'll go over and just kind of mutter into him like, I'm gonna try to open the fucking box again. Janva whispers to you that she will try to- she's trying to open the box. Again? Yes. If you can't do it, then you need a thief. Or someone who knows how to unlock an arcane lock. Or a thief. <laughs> they usually know how to do that. That's kind of their title. Can you do it? Wait a minute, can I? Can you? One second. Uh, no, but, uh. I can help someone really temporarily if they know what they're doing. By this point, I'm looking at a spud. Can spud do this? <laughs> spud looks directly at you, Bird Eye, and like sagely nods his head. <laughs> you have a feeling this donkey can do whatever he wants. Uh, let me see if I actually know how to get that spell. Grayson, I will say by this point, after uh, Bird Eye's welcoming of the new day, uh, Phoebus would eventually climb off of the hammock, just kind of holding his little. Uh, stuffed toy, which looks like a rabbit with a horn pointing out the center. Oh. I mean, as she'll pretty much put it, it's like, I'm trying to, if she would just kind of like explain to Fox, I'm trying to dispel it. Yeah. You still have to open it. <laughs> I thought if I could, uh, if I could dispel the arcane lock, I could just break no, it. No, you still have to fucking manually open it. That just helps you for a couple of seconds. You gotta go ding, 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 ba, boom. Bada beam, bada boom. Bada 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 boom. You know, old turtle speak. That's what I'm saying. You need a thief. As uh, Zevier, um, Zevier will come by, uh, kind of collect Phoebus from you, Grayson. Just like I'm sorry, I'll, I'll get him out of your way, and just leave them upstairs to the no, top no, deck. It's, it's it's fine. He's fine. I mean, you know, I everything seems to just be kind of stressing you out. So I just okay, fine. <laughs> uh, listen. <clears throat> I had a talk with the big red guy. Um, uh-huh. He kind of <laughs> stops a minute. Like, <laughs> You're gonna grease it up again? <laughs> <laughs> Not in front of the child. 
There are children, Fifi. It's <laughs> <laughs> Fifi emerges from her room. <laughs> uh, she just I'm opens just... the door and greases it up, and then closes it. <laughs> it's like a, there's a secret passage that only only I know, and just like pop. I mean, to be fair, it's your ship. I could be, for all we know. It's a secret yeah, network of tunnels in this ship. The secret and the secret oasis of secret passages. No, I talked to the big red guy yesterday. You? Oh, oh God! Oh boy. Okay. How'd that go? Do you have a tattoo that looks like mine? And his? Yeah. What Why? does it mean? As, uh, Zevia kind of kind of pulls up the sleeve on his, uh, on his doublet so that you can see um, he will have the same uh, markings as they were shown to you on his wrist. Why? It's like, I, I, I was... I mean, you, ha you got the tattoo first, and you, you know, said something about it representing family, and so we just, I mean, just made it, it just, it's a thing. What do the dots mean? <laughs> I don't know what this means. All right. <laughs> Dot. <laughs> <laughs> um. No, I don't connect the dots. <laughs> God damn it, Beefy! <laughs> Where is that voice coming from? <laughs> From the shadows. They, um, they're supposed to represent, you know, well, us. Us. You know, as he points to the, to, to the two big dots, and, you know, and then the, and the three smaller dots. Just kind of like, do you get it? Why are you so hesitant to talk about it? Because every time I do, it upsets and confuses you, and I just- Listen, listen. Everything anyone does confuses and upsets me. It's just how it is. <laughs> That's true! <laughs> <laughs> Look. I don't know what's going on. The Big Red doesn't know what's going on. You are the only person that seems to know a little bit. And I know. I... And I sound like help. a fucking crazy person when I do. I sound like a crazy person. He sounds like a crazy person. Or maybe we're all in a delusion together. But regardless, we're obviously connected. And... I'm sorry. He looks really hesitant and confused when you apologize to him. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> New character arc. What did you just say to me? <laughs> <laughs> the audacity. <laughs> Are you okay? Are you feeling well? I Listen, I... I've been having nightmares. He's been having nightmares. Like I said, you're the only one that seems to have an idea of what's happening, and maybe... You know. Don't make me say it. I mean... <laughs> nah. Grayson just kind of holds out his his arms and he's just like eh. uh, Is he like, offering beckon it? Yes he is. Oh <laughs> I Grayson's don't know what's happening. Him? I I don't know what's happening and 
the, everything's just lining up really weird, and maybe you're right. He will 100% without hesitation accept that hug. Aww! Like, just pulls you in uh, to reciprocate the hug, and just, uh, like, as he hugs you back, you just have that moment of, oh, Jesus Christ, he's strong. <laughs> <laughs> Your back pops a little bit in like two places. Oh god, can you do that again? <laughs> okay, now you're making it weird. <sighs> so I, I what so, do you do? I have to fix this. I know that Whatever's ha like with whatever's happening with all of this, it's it's my fault. I have to fix it myself. It's what I owe you. It's, you don't have to fix it yourself. I do because it's literally my fault. No, it's not. You say that now. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Whatever you did, I am sure it's fine. It's really not. It'll be fine. We can get through I... this. We can do this. We're all, According to this tattoo, we're all still here. And we're together. Okay. We might not know what's happening. Okay. Some of us. All of us. Um, but maybe we can help. Each other. Grayson takes okay. out his, his spell book okay. and he just kind of opens it and he's like, I don't remember writing these. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's because you I mean, you, you wrote them, obviously. Just, you don't... Yeah. Kid... <sighs> Xavier? Yes? <laughs> well, let's go get something to eat and I need you to tell me everything you know. Oh, okay. And he will do that. So. Okay. Meanwhile, Jamba in this intense conversation with Fox, just... <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't want to go off and just be like, hey, do you know how to pick locks? Well, I mean, that's but... kind of like the first thing that you need to ask somebody when you need help picking a lock. Yeah, at this point, uh, Grayson, uh, Zevier, and the little tiny Phoebus will uh, be top deck. I don't know who to ask. It's not like I really trust like half the people on this freaking boat. Well, um, <laughs> do you trust uh, Ophelia? It's uh, her ship, apparently. You can ask Do you her. think she can open it? Me? No. I don't even have tools to do so. No, I'm talking. I'm talking about Ophelia. <laughs> I don't know, ask her. I don't know what her talents are. Really, where are you in this moment? Um, if everyone's going to like up deck to like have breakfast or something, I'll probably just be up there waiting. She'll be. You'll see her in line waiting for food as uh, chef is currently handing out all the fixings for the morning. With the information Java got last night, and she wow. saw Sevier walk by. Yeah. She'll kind of like squint, squint, and then make a beeline and walk straight up to the child. Which child? Sevier. Oh, God, okay. The child. Are you going to intimidate this kid? There's two childs. There are two children. There's children. children. There's like a little tiny one as you approach. He was still waving at you, like, hi. Hi. She'll wave down to him, like, oh, and she'll get down to his level. Hi, how are you? Then get back up and look at Zoe. <laughs> hi. What do you need? Can I help you? Why are you staring at me? It's making me a little nervous. <laughs> how good are you with magic? I'm, I mean, I'm pretty good with magic. Can you open your fucking mouth? Oh, wow. There's a moment where you ask this question and he just kind of 
I mean, that's like, what, lesson one? Cool! She's gonna drag him by the back of the neck like... Oh god! Okay. <laughs> Dad, we're right. We're doing this thing now. Excuse me. Okay. <laughs> Grayson's gonna grab him by the other side. I need him. You can I'm come along too. I'm gonna look at I want all food. of them and just walk right up to Ophelia. <laughs> and in thieves' can't. I'm gonna ask about help. About what? I'm gonna ask. Uh, can you help? In thieves' can't. Okay, what actual words are you saying? Oh. Well, since Steve's Kent doesn't technically have a language... Are we gonna use Pig Latin? <laughs> are we gonna use Pig Latin? <laughs> Go, uh, yes, thank yeah. you! Isn't it canon already that Thieves Cat is Pink Latin? Mm, Remember? Uh, yeah, no, West I mean, is super fluent in it. <laughs> if, if that's true, fuck that shit, it ain't flying in my games. Uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna go to Ophelia. <laughs> Cause it's like tomato, uh, tomato, can I... breakfast. No, well, I mean it can be, but I'm gonna go to Ophelia. Hey, um, can't open a door. A door? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just twist the yeah. knob. All right, fuck it. Um, <laughs> oh, leave. Yes, as you say that, you will hear a tiny voice next to you. Um, you know, I can open doors. <laughs> All right, come along. <laughs> As it is the gnomish girl. That's, mm -hmm. that's what I thought. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to go over to uh, Janva. She's going to help us. You should There's, also pay her. The gnome girl kind of waves assistance. her fingers at you. Janva looking down at that gnome like, I kind of wanted the smaller audience, but... <laughs> I guess we're doing this now. I'm the smallest audience you can get. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I'm gonna look at, at, at the no. We didn't negotiate a price, so just negotiate it with her when the job's done, and you can do that if you will. That's fine. Curiosity's mostly peaked at this point, so mm. yeah, why not? All right. All right. All right. You guys are weird. I like that. <laughs> can I have Zevier back, please? Please let me <laughs> let me go. We just need him for one, one little thing. One. And my new little thing for me, please. Watch please. if you want. Again, Grayson, you can come too. I'm gonna look to Yuli and be like, I thought I was weird. And I'm just like, oh, let's go over there. He's like, you are weird. <laughs> I hope the entire <laughs> party goes and watches this thing. They're all supposed to be done in secret. <laughs> I, I really love the do. dynamic of this party so much. Oh, well, let's go, Paul. Grayson, Grayson's gonna pick up Phoebus oh. and just be like, Come get me when you're done, Zevia. And that then they're gonna go. Natural, and get how him. well he does it. <sighs> it's like, oh, oh God, you're gonna leave me alone with them. Okay, sure. You'll, hey, you'll be fine. I'm gonna, look I'm, gonna hook, I'm gonna hook arms with Zevia. Be like, let's go. Look at Zevia. This is your moment to shine. Oh God. And have oh, no faith in God. No. <laughs> I really don't want this to be my moment. Uh, well, too bad. None of us do. Oh, Chamba's yeah. just gonna look over at Bird and Ryan like, okay, get, get the thing. I mean, if we're downstairs, that's fine. I don't know. If we're I mean, you fine. all file downstairs in a very non, like, obvious, not, totally not obvious group. Fox is not no. subtle in anything he does. The sarcasm of the DM. This is my shit. Nothing of watch. what you did was subtle. I know. I okay. stole I've these got the cans thing. in public as, on a pirate ship. As no, the, what, do um, what do we do, Paul? As, as you will be noticed by many pe many a people. As I think uh, the Dragonborn, uh, who you would know his Wait. name as... I Are we in the room now? No, no, you're heading downstairs. In the moment. Okay. Uh, his name's Toro, that's right. Toro. 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 Toro? If anyone looks at you specifically... I'm going to look at the map. What the fuck you looking at? I just, I obviously there's a group gathering, and I just wanted to see mm. what's going on. Yeah, well, that's weird. I just remembered I have a spell that could totally conceal all of this. That's too late. <laughs> wow, yeah. Grayson. Who did that? We're doing this raw, baby. Grayson is currently occupied. 
Oh, Grayson. With a small child. <laughs> As the as little Phoebus just kind of looks at you, and it's just like he's right. Arcane locks really are less than one. <laughs> I just realized it was a baby. Anyways, how old are you? Five. Oh, aren't you precious? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jamba just like oh yeah you know we're just hanging out singing songs. What's it to you? Oh, it's the dragonborn. Yeah. Yeah. I like to sing. Right I'm I gonna look like at Ophelia uh, and then look at the dragonborn. No, we're not. We're gonna open the chest, right? <laughs> That's our property that we can do whatever the fuck we want with it. I don't understand why this is such a goddamn secret. Fair enough. Jamba just lets out a legit. <sighs> I'm so fucking tired. <laughs> <laughs> she looks to the sky and is like, Bahamut, please. They're on your deck. It's just wood. <laughs> the wood doesn't answer her. Yuli's like, me too. <laughs> I'm gonna look at, at her. There's no uh, sense in trying to be coy. I will say, something. I will say for this, for this scenario, Yuli, um... You would have, you would have, uh, kind of prompted, you would have prompted for Yuli to follow and he'd be like, I've, I've got other things I need to do. Is this his vacation? I forgot. Yeah. So he's binging already. He will. <laughs> oh, do, I make, do I need to make saves by now? <laughs> he's, going to, he's, going, he's going to walk to the bow of the ship and he's going to kind of sit down cross legged and kind of hold his um his his uh his his new yeah his new baby in his hands and just he's kind of the halberd. <laughs> yeah, the halberd. The oh. okay. to <laughs> so many, so many sunbuckles. So many. <laughs> so. Okay. So as um, Tora will take that as uh, kind of a dismissal, and it's like, all right, GTFO. I, okay, that's fine. <laughs> uh, have fun opening your uh, secret box, Thank and you. we'll leave. Appreciate it. As you all kind of gather into um, where, where are you gathering for this? I have no fucking clue what they're taking. Like, no, like that room everybody. that we tried before. Oh, really? oh, so the sail room. Okay. Man. <laughs> you okay, Grayson? Man, I, I totally have a spell that can totally hide everything in here, but too bad Grayson's a shitbird. <laughs> oh, Grayson. No, that's bird or right. Great. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> I am. Um, I have, I I have red, one. Sir. I have one question for you, uh, Grayson. <laughs> yes. Do you have the you? Do you have the warcaster feet? No. Okay. So all right. His hands are full. Sorry, he can't cast spells. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. That's yeah. Jamba again, just kind of like if we're going into that room, wanting to check around, make sure there's like nobody in there that she can see. It's a very small room that's filled with nothing but like. Spare cloth for sails, rope, and a few barrels of water. Let me just if I know any so I secret okay. passageway in this room, I'm gonna double check it. <laughs> and mean? then just kind of like you um just no. for right to put the box down. Ophelia, roll me an investigation. Ooh. I, I got the box. It. What's in the box? <laughs> oh that one fell. Okay. As yeah. you um Ooh! Investigation, investigation. Nineteen. Nineteen? Alright, so you kind of feel at the walls, you're like, yeah, there's totally no secret passages in here. Click. <laughs> As you hit a panel, and uh, kind of like a small little crawl space opens. I'm gonna look into it, and if it's like, the hole is far enough to start to crawl in it, just like halfway. Okay. It's, uh, it's gonna be kind of a, I mean, you're small enough, so you can comfortably kind of, uh, wriggle your way through, um, and, ha uh, especially spending your time on this ship, uh, for probably a good, like, practically your whole lifetime, um, yeah. you, uh, you know that this, um, this specific passageway 
kind of it, it'll lead out into um, a crawl space just uh, below the kitchens. Okay. Or the larder, as it's called. All right. When it, if I can see the passage and there's nothing I can see, or anything or anyone through what I see, I'm gonna. It's it's it a back. very it's a very narrow straight passage, so it's about as much as you'll see. Okay, I'm gonna click the board back and be like, I don't. I, uh, yeah, that's there. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I totally forgot, guys. <laughs> passage, there's, so many, there's so many of them. But like this is from the kitchen, nice. so everyone's eating right now. So I think we're okay. Okay, and so as uh, Birdrai, you pull the box out. Um, okay. The gnome girl would have been laying out a very intricate thief's tools kit, just like on the ground, just like looking at her uh, each piece, just like okay, I'm all ready. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna cast the tech traps on it because it's the first okay. time I've seen it. There are no traps. And I think my eyeballs can see them for the next couple of minutes. Okay. Minute. I think the only mechanical thing you would have like detected, I guess, from that, if that's how that spell works, is Ophelia uh, finding the hidden passage, and that was it. <laughs> I don't remember exactly. Is it only on arc arcane traps that's or? Or is it like mechanical as well? Uh, I, I do I not recall. Don't. Is it detect straight. traps or find traps? Find traps. Sorry. Uh, you sense the presence of any trap within range. Uh, a trap for the purpose of a spell, including anything that would be inflicting sudden or unexpected effects you would consider harmful or otherwise. Which okay, so never mind then. Show. A pit trap, uh, a gleaf of warning, uh, uh, but will not reveal like natural weaknesses within the floor, or unstable ceilings. So I just know if there's a trap. Yeah. Okay. No problem. You don't learn the location of each trap, but you learn the general nature of the danger. So I just know there is a thing that can go wrong from this, but it's not like oh I know specifically that's poisonous or, or maybe. I I'll know that it's right, poisonous, right. but I won't know it's poisonous darts or something like that. Okay. All right. All right, that makes sense. Okay. okay. All right, so, yeah, no traps. All right. I should be Good. safe. Someone want to um, dispel the hard part, and someone can do the uh, other hard part. Okay. Um, and uh, Zeve just kind of kind of pulls like a little like a small leather uh book out from uh a pocket in his um on the the breast of his doublet and just kind of like flips through the pages it's like just kind of checking it over and just like okay yeah it's, as i remember um and he'll approach the box as um Everyone's kind of like this that spell. what everybody except for rangers can cast that spell got it everybody because <laughs> rangers are weird mm -hmm. excuse me Excuse me. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> um, excuse me. <laughs> You're excused. Hold that, hold that for, for one sec. <laughs> oh. Yes, I heard that. Oh, you heard that? Sorry. Continue. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> as he approaches the box, he'll kind of like focus a bit as uh, like kind of like this green arcane energy just kind of uh, lights in his eyes and then sparks at his fingertips as he focuses and like as he touches the box you will hear um, kind of like this echo of a lock clicking open and he'll just kind of hold his hands up and just end the spell and it's like okay it should open Ooh. Jamba has intently reaches out and opens the box What's I mean, it's still box? it's still locked. I mean, it'll it'll oh. open now for for oh, when okay. you when you Excuse unlock me, it. But mind. but you know, it's I'm the, the arcane. I'm gonna approach Janva and place like, my yeah. my scaly leathery like paw on her <laughs> head. Are you feeling okay? We just had this discussion like two <laughs> fucking minutes. <ago. laughs> 
This literally his entire <laughs> hand just covers her face. I'm trying to say, is she warm? Does she have a fever? What's happening? I mean, she feels, you know. Yeah, yeah. I'm uh, fine. All right. she, she might be a bit feverish. It's, you uh, know, it's I'm kind of her, it's a weird climate change from the underdark. Sit down. I'm going to conjure water, put it in a little cup, drink so you might be dehydrated. <laughs> You just see her sit there like, okay. Or <laughs> Janva. Pops Janva is slowly is like legitimately worried water. about Janva. Pops is hydrating me. The Thirst Queen has spoken. The Thirst Queen has spoken. <laughs> the Thirst Queen has spoken. As you, you'll hear the tiny voice of the, the gnome girl, and it's like, all right, yeah, just, just take a seat. This is, this is all my domain now. And mm. she'll, um, she'll take her thieves' tools and she'll get to work on it. I hope when we open this, there's nothing of value inside. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, oh, it's just I'll nothing. Be pissed. Jumbo will be pissed, honestly. As she kind of works her tools very expertly, just knowing, you know, all like all it takes is like just one look at the lock, and it's like, all right, I know what I need, and she'll like get those tools and like. Kind of insert it into the into the lock itself, and then after like maybe no more than like ten seconds, you hear the actual mechanical click of uh, the lock open. <laughs> it's empty. And she, <laughs> takes, uh, yes. she uh, removes her tools, uh, putting them neatly back in her bag, rolling it up. All right, there you go. The fox is so what's so like important? Grab the chest and like lean it towards Janva, so it's like right there if she wants to open it. <laughs> Janva, it's your big moment. <laughs> you fucking like it's over. Yeah, I will actually like. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> now you can't. Is can. it mimic? Is it mimic? Is it mimic? I swear to God, if it's a fucking mimic. <laughs> Just bite your hand. Bitch, that was a good idea. <laughs> Is that a character? <laughs> That's out of character. <laughs> it's out of character? That's out of character. <laughs> oh, okay. Vic, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, you just see Jamba just kind of go off and just... Because that kind of triggers Mimic me. Mimic stats, no. <laughs> okay. As Janva, you slowly, head, like, almost with shaky hands, open this box. Just... Just almost dreading what you think might be in this. And you open the box. And inside is a pristine white leather mask. <gasps> Ooh. Expertly crafted and shaped into the visage of a dragon. <gasps> it's this. I, do we all see this? Yeah, she's opening it right in front of you. Oh, like, ah. You can you have all it. Are going to see... <laughs> I will literally give it's the box like... to Java and say, you can have it. <laughs> and then I'll be like 20 feet away and like as far as I can. <laughs> nah, nah, stop. <laughs> nah. Nah, I was just looking at it and. You can tell she's visibly upset. Uh oh. She's visibly upset. As Gray, <laughs> excuse me, not Grayson. Xavier. <laughs> damn it! No, no! What? Oh, damn it! It's beginning. Oh. He's in the boys. The, the boys. Just Xavier just points at it. Oh, that's bad. You, uh, that's really bad. You're gonna see Fox yep. stand up. You want to get out of here? <laughs> uh, <laughs> and approach oh. very slowly and uh, uh, with purpose towards the box. Okay. Uh, and if no one is stopping him, if am I getting a hint that anyone's like in, in uh, trying to uh, to stop me from his movements, he's going to reach into the uh, the thing and grab the mask. Uh, yeah, if I was will... just like that's that's not a good idea. Please don't. Yes. Can we just close the box. No. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna destroy this. Can we destroy it? I'm gonna fucking it's... find out. Can you destroy it? What? And I'm going to grab Wait, the mask and try to tear it. It will not tear. 
Yeah. All right. And then we ask for help. Jamba, no, Jamba's gonna look like Fox. There's there's cult members literally on the ship. You really now. The most we can probably do is put this thing back in Burterized bag of holding and oh, I just buried it in the bottom of the sea. Nope. Hmm? I'm not putting that in my bag. <laughs> <laughs> I have a bag. Anyone have a bag of holding? <laughs> you need I to persuade me very, very hard. Ophelia says Bird that I she does. Oh, no. I'm a grab. Yeah, Jamba's just looking at Birderai, just like Birderai, really. Like, <laughs> if they get their hands on it, that that's it's bad. All right. That's it. Uh, uh, that's it. Let's see. Uh, with my Samurai's brother. honor. <laughs> Five. Four. No. I'm like, if you don't, I have it. I have one. You I'm so confused. <laughs> yes, Fox. Now look at everybody. You can't breathe on the water. Most people can't breathe on the water. I have a friend that can swim very fucking fast. Now I'll go with her for the next hour. And we'll dig this underneath the earth in the bottom of the sea. Hey, I have, I have a stupid idea. Unless you want to carry it with you until we find means to destroy it. I have a stupid idea. What if I put this in my bag of holding and we put that bag of holding inside oh, another bag of holding? Damn it. No. <laughs> it's gonna look at him. No. <laughs> I'm be like, I just got this bag. <laughs> I will pay you. <laughs> here is a deal as well. Pe if people in the cult are here. I'm sorry. They already know what we're doing. We can also try to yeah. see who of the cult is actually here. Here's I my thing. Here's my... Ass. You just see Jamba just like, okay, but here's the issue. You can bury it in the bottom of the ocean. But I know for a damn fact, dragons can breathe underwater. Oh, that's true. So, don't interrupt <laughs> me. Let me finish. We're going to bury this in the bottom of the ocean. You get to see who is paying attention. Those people that are paying attention, those are your cult members. I don't want to risk just even the second of someone else getting their hands on it, though. We're going to bury I mean this box in the bottom of the ocean and I'm oh, putting the not. mask inside of Ophelia's bag of holding okay stupid didn't expect it from me <laughs> yeah girl come on keep up as the gnome just kind of wraps her stuff up like you know I'm gonna bury it who's faster Yuli or or Same. Ophelia I have a friend that's faster. And I'm gonna start uh, going out of the ship with the... You guys better keep your eyes out. And uh, I'm gonna grab the, the chest and I'm going to go to the top of the ship. And I'm going to meet probably pretty loud. Okay. Um, and uh, I uh, assume you guys are following? Question mark? Uh, yeah. Is there everyone following, or are they John just going yeah, to follow? I'm following. I'll look at the gnomish, at the gnomish woman and uh, Zevier and thank them both. Uh, she'll just kind of like give you a wink, like yeah, no problem. Huh? I'm following. The like only thing I asked him, John will hold the mask for a little bit. Uh you have it or. Fox had it last well, actually. Ophelia has it in the bag of holding. I don't know if Ophelia's oh, okay. in Ophelia's bag of holding. Okay. Oh, so I didn't, okay, I already have it. So I mean if if you So want... make sure to keep note of that. Mm -hmm. Don't be like, you know, Friday's group and <laughs> put the nuke. Um so does Ophelia have the bag of holding or does Jama have the bag of holding with the mask inside? Ophelia has the bag of holding. It is. It is. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it is. Because Jonva asked if she could hold it, right? Yes. Jonva yeah. will ask Ophelia if she can hold the mask for a moment. Um. As soon as I don't, everyone clears the room, I'll reopen it and let her hold it for a moment. I need y'all's observational eyes upstairs in a minute. Then. 
won't take too long. You're just gonna hear her mutter all this fucking time. Mm -hmm. And she'll just pretty much thrust it back at Ophelia and just... Don't just seems a little angry. I'm gonna put like, my hand on her shoulder and be like, it's, it'll be okay. You're fine. You're not in that place anymore. I'm gonna look at her if she does have a point. Like, Jamba, you wanna hug? I don't know if a hug's gonna help. I mean, it can't not not help. It's it's she'll allow Ophelia to hug her. I mean, it, she's not gonna hug in return. She's just really upset. You can cut it out. Okay. There, there. I mean, I mean, I'm always like, it's she does give good hugs, and then I'll just leave. <laughs> okay, and then I'm I'm gonna go back outside the way um, Fox is going. Um, so, uh, as, uh, hopefully they're coming up, keeping their eyes open. Uh, I'm gonna go up to the edge of the ship with the uh, uh, box, or the chest, sorry. Um, and, uh, I'm gonna, Fox is just gonna sigh. Thank you. I have the mask and you have the box. Is that correct? Fox has the box. An empty oh, box. Has the box. Ophelia has the mask within her bag of holding. Okay. Good. Box. Uh, I'm gonna go up to the ship with the box, and uh, I'm gonna just gonna mutter, and I'm I'm sure everyone's looking because I'm already loud and annoying. Of course. Uh, friend, if you can um, hear me, I really need your help right now. And then you see. Uh, divine energy come from his hands and start trickling on the water and he's going to conjure animal uh, or uh, yeah conjure animal and he's going to conjure his friend La uh, Luce which is a paleosaurus oh okay uh, so I'm summoning Le 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 Leslie Leslie Lock it's a Leopardon Charlie oh dear god <laughs> and I'm gonna be like alright we got a job it's magical Leopardon and then uh, I'm going to jump into the middle of the sea, hold my breath, because I have to hold my breath. She doesn't. Okay. And then we're going to swim down for the next hour, trying to keep up with the ship. All right. And Contra Animal lasts exactly, what, one hour? Yep, okay, cool. Up to one hour. So unless uh, something fucking attacks me, uh, okay. me and her are going to go down to as far as we can and just chill with yeah, the Yeah, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that her... Probably being like one of the bigger things in the waters at the moment, you will not be messed with in that for that hour. All right, uh, and then um... I'm going up. I will probably need to resurface as soon as I can uh, because I can only hold my breath for a couple of minutes, but I'm gonna be playing it really close. Okay. Uh, so, so do you want to roll me stealth for that? I'm sorry. If you're trying, if you're trying to be stealthy on it, uh, you can roll me stealth on that. Okay. And uh, I'll say Grayson, uh, when everybody starts coming up to the top deck, uh, Zevier will kind of beeline to you, and it's just like, uh, so this is bad. I'm just gonna be shaped into a shark. Okay. When the hour is up, because uh, that's a lot easier. Alright, that's fine. Yeah, so I'll do that. Uh, uh, but still roll stealth, right? Yeah. Yeah, so just roll me stealth, just uh, if you're trying to keep yourself hidden. That is nine. So we're going to go down as far as we can, like just okay. in the middle of the ocean for 20, 30 minutes as the ship okay. keeps sailing. And then probably about that time where I feel the spell is about halfway to almost halfway full, uh, then I'm just going to uh, just sit there and pet her and reminisce over uh, our old uh, old days. Oh, okay. So I guess I'll just like find some sort of like lower part that has a cliffside or something underneath the water and just 
sit there so I'm not tired of fucking swimming and then just mm-hmm. think about the old times and pet her and and not be able to talk because I need to hold my breath. Uh, she will respond with uh, aquatic clicks. Click, 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 click. <laughs> and then uh, I will not uh, unsummon her until the spell completely fades away. So like the full okay. hour. Alright. Okay, so... Um, so... Grace and Fox just literally summoned a giant ancient creature in the middle of the ocean and you just saw him eat overboard. Grayson looks into his drink <laughs> and then just takes another drink of it. <laughs> this is really good tea. As, as, that- as Fafis kind of pats you on the on the cheek to get your attention, it's like, I'm gonna do that one day. <laughs> I wanna do that. Do what? What he just did. Jump overboard? No, summon <laughs> a big monster. Oh. Well, that's entirely possible. I'm gonna do it. You, you go right ahead. And he, like, pats him on the head. Oh. He doesn't have visible horns, um, from what you see, but if you do pat him on top of his head, you do feel like little tiny, like, nubs. Aww. Grayson shares his food. Okay, so I, I'm gonna say after the hour, uh, Fox, you will be returning to the ship. Uh, yeah, uh, but okay. they'll see a shark approaching. So tag, okay. um, because that's an hour of like me chilling underwater, holding my right. breath until the spell ends, and then a couple of seconds later, I have to be shape or I'm gonna drown. Um, right, that's so, fair. So uh, that's an hour of the ship moving already, uh, mm-hmm. and then I'm gonna be shape into a, uh, I believe reef shark is the only thing that I can do, uh, okay. and their speed is forty, so I'm swimming uh, eighty per round. So All right. Up to the ship. So it'll it'll okay. So it'll take you a bit to catch up to the ship. Mm-hmm. All right. So Fox Fox is gonna be gone for about a couple of hours. Um, Fox, if you want to, I guess just roll me survival with advantage since you have an idea of the direction the ship is going. Plus uh, seven. So nineteen. Okay, so you'll be able to find the ship again. It's kind of right. So I'll say, um, after that, uh, Fox, you reconvene with the ship. You uh, now have a white dragon mask in, in your possession, Ophelia. Yeah! Uh, and you will be filled in on this uh, incident by Xavier when he finds you. Spells in my B shape. Uh, would you say to be one B shape or to B shape to get back on ship? B shape is uh, however many hours to your druid level, correct? Is it hours to druid level? Is that it? Is uh, it? I think. Oh, half you know, level. So half level. So okay, yeah. Then if it's like so you'll be fine. fine. Okay, cool. Then I'll I only think you'll be fine. All right, awesome. Yeah. Cool. Forgot about that. John was having a whole fucking conniption. John was having a whole crisis by herself. As, John um, at? Where are you at, John? She probably would have just got on up on the deck and she's just staring out at the ocean and just leaning on the ledge just kind of like this. As it would have been um, kind of getting close to afternoon at this point. Mm. So, mm-hmm. I'm gonna get on the ship and I'm going to just curl up next to my my baby boy, all wet. Baby, big baby boy. He'll totally accept that. So, mm-hmm. all right. Yeah. yeah. I'm probably going. I guess stand by Grayson. Yeah. Grayson, John looks like she's about to have a mental breakdown. <laughs> You look awful. 
She'll look over at Grayson and see how he's handling likewise. <laughs> wow. It wasn't meaning to be mean. Are you okay? It's just jokingly. Grayson asked if you were okay. No, I'm not. Do you need that to was talk the last about it? Thing I was going to see. Do you want to talk about it? I sure just. Sure. <laughs> I should put it to Grace, and it's like, you know, you see, before I completely went and fucked right off from. My hold, the, hold that thought. Huh? Let's speak in private, shall we? That's probably for the best. Yeah. Okay. Um, I need somewhere on this ship that is not being occupied. That probably that might just end up being the the room that they just came from. What what room the is that? Sail room. Yeah. How big is it? It's it's very it's it's kind of very kind of cramped quarters in a way. Um, it's mostly just going to be filled with like tarps and ropes, and there's like one cot and like shoved in the corner with like a bag, but that's it. How big is the room? <laughs> I'm gonna say the room is like fifteen feet ish if we're going by squares. Excellent. <laughs> Janva, come stand next to me. We're gonna have a little uh fort. <laughs> okay, sure. Okay. Great. <laughs> He's gonna cast Tiny Hut in this room. Yes! <laughs> yes! Yes, he is! Yes. Yeah! Tiny That's Hut! Right. So love you. Oh my gosh! Love love tiny, tiny Hut! hut. Oh. <laughs> tiny Hut! Brilliant, dude. Uh, tiny Hut! Uh, tiny Hut! Hold on. Grayson's as Tiny a, Hut! As a reminder, it's a 10 foot radius uh, dome, springs forth into existence, uh, around and above you remain stationary for the duration. It lasts for 8 hours, or if I dismiss it. Nine creatures can fit, but they have to be inside the dome for it for them to enter. Spells and other magical effects cannot extend through the dome or be cast through it. The atmosphere inside the space is comfortable dry, regardless of the weather outside. And I can have the interior be pretty much whatever I want. What's your interior, Grayson? Mm-hmm. In typical bougie Grace, Grayson fashion, it is kind of like an Indian-style opium den with lots of, like, big pillows, and there's, like, a... <laughs> There's, like, I don't know what they're called. They're the tables that have, like, the blanket over it. They're Japanese. Oh, uh, you can see feet in it, and it's warm. Uh, it the, uh, I thought it was the K. K? Kotatsu! 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 Okay. There's oh, one yeah. of those in there. Uh, there's some, like, really nice, uh, like, purple glowing, like, lamps and stuff. Like, it's very, like, Arabian kind of feel to it. It's literally your vibe. Jump. Yeah, that is my vibe. It's literally your vibe. <laughs> nice, that is my vibe. Me, Tabitha, that oh, is my vibe. Purples, purples, golds, giant pillows with the big gold tassels. Yes. So we're like in a genie bottle. Like, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. This screams you. <laughs> Thanks, I designed it myself. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna just go and flop on a pillow. <laughs> So, what's yeah. the tea? As he pours some tea. <laughs> God damn it, Grace. God damn it. Anyways, yeah, no, well, she'll just sit there and it's like, well, before I decided to completely go and fuck off away from the cult, I, for the most of my years, was raised by one of the worm speakers. You may have seen him at the party, older, older guy. Bald. Not my type, I wasn't looking. Of course you weren't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and she'll just kind of continue on. It's like, he raised me and another um, half-elven woman. We grew up together. We both had really, really, really big plans for the cult and her biggest thing is she 
always wanted to be the one that would be picked for the white worm speaker. And she Why? got asked. Why would you want that? Hey, it's the greatest thing you can possibly get in the cult. But she got passed. For someone else. And she was probably the most qualified out of anybody. And that was when I started realizing there was some shady shit going on. Hmm. What does and the white mask no. mean? Well, it's basically a, the mask that's kind of like in control of, I guess, white dragons. I'm still really unsure of what the masks themselves do. Hmm. It just, from all I know, is that it represents the the white dragon head of Tiamat. Hmm. Why would Eleanor have this in her home? Assuming it maybe have something to do with her husband or whatever. Maybe he had gotten a hold of it and was planning on giving it to the cult, but she whistled blue. That's my only speculation what it could be. Are we sure not Eleanor's not in on this? I don't know. I really hope not. I don't trust a lot of people on this boat. That's a good thing to have. I'd rather not be on the boat. <laughs> I'd rather not either. So, what do we do with the mask? Now we giant have a giant target? People are gonna come after us? Great. Well, hopefully with what Fox did at least gives a little bit of a diversion. But... I think it's best safe in our hands for the time being, even though it's going to put a target on our back. Are we supposed it's... to do something with it? Or is there a volcano we can throw it in? I, I don't know. Is there a volcano we can throw it in? It's a good plan, Grayson. Question? My, okay, DM question. Grayson's family, they killed the white dragon, right? A white dragon, right? Yes, okay. Okay. <sighs> what happens if you wear it? Does anything happen? Very cool. Roll me a history. John Oh. That's actually not bad. Because I'm proficient in history. That's a 17. You have heard specifically from, you know, you, you specifically have heard mostly from Resmir um, how it's po uh, possible for the dragon masks to grant the users kind of um, otherworldly abilities. How that could possibly enhance one's power uh, far more than they than they could ever do on their own, and maybe quite possibly extend one's life. That's the stories that you've heard circulating around these. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the most that she's going to probably be able to relate to Grace and then. Yeah, it's like I would, I would like to. T I wouldn't mind testing them, but at the same time, you just see her just kind of like wince. And then hold up her shield, just like, I, I can't. It just seems unright to even mess with them. For me. If anybody else wants to test them out, sure. This is going to sound awful. So please take what I say with just a grain of salt. Why don't we use the power against him? 
Unless it's a corrupting kind of thing that might happen, I don't know. That's the thing I don't, I don't know. I mean, if someone wants to try, go on ahead. I just feel like... She's gonna kind of just pause. And then I'm probably gonna have... And John is gonna pray to Bahamut. Ooh. Okay, roll me religion. What are you praying? What do I do with this fucking thing? Do would it be best to use it? Would it be best to throw it away? Seventeen. Seventeen. All right, you make connection. Uh, roll me for cells. Dial up the sounds. <laughs> Your call is being monitored. <laughs> oh God. For, for training purposes. <laughs> our, next okay. our next representative will be with you shortly. That was a 93. Damn! I need you to stop rolling so fucking high on these. Holy shit. Uh, I don't care you know often. How I feel. <laughs> God damn! Shit! A Between praying for uh, can you get us out? Yes. Paylord, please. Ninety-nine. <laughs> Fine. Uh, <laughs> that's what Paylor's like. God damn! Fuck, do it yourself. <laughs> mm. Jesus, ninety-three. Holy crap! I think. Another thing, if I could, I to add on to it, maybe. I don't okay, know. Okay, well, wait. All right, just say it. That's gonna be like probably the tiniest whispered thing. Well, hey, God. <laughs> um, uh, as I'm trying to buffer to think uh, for a moment. Uh, I'm going to say it for everybody who's on top deck. Um, it's getting into late afternoon. People are starting to prepare for um, the uh, kind of the evening meal. Din -din. As um, everybody kind of tends to take turns. And so you will see uh, Chef uh, Colin over the one Red Dragonborn and um, the. Um, uh, the, damn it, uh, the halfling. That's what I was thinking. The of. Halfling. Yeah. So I was like, yeah. Where she's like, no, I don't. I I'm a guest on the ship. I was like, oh, you're you're on the ship, so you're gonna earn your cape. So get the fuck over here. Yeah, I probably. That's what I was gonna say. Like, I probably would have asked somebody if they needed help for with the ship or whatnot. Like, if not, there's, there's, there's always like go, people yeah. to do. Like, if not, I was gonna go train, row. Since you're there and you have wings, they will ask you to check the dot, uh, the the rope work on the topmost parts of the masts for them, just to make sure they're secure and in place. <laughs> then I, um, I would have done that. Yeah. Uh, the I will say um, for uh, the two children, Phoebus and Sybil, um, the orc woman who, at this point, you kind of glean is taking on the role of caretaker for them. Um, you see her just kind of like playing around with them, like roughhousing specifically with Sybil, who's just having an absolute ball with it. <laughs> and uh, I think like ha uh, like halfway through it, she'll kind of uh, Fox, you'll recognize this as a thing. As <laughs> she kind of halfway through um, kind of uh, strafing back away from Sy Sybil as Sybil is charging the woman kind of her whole body just Deaths as she takes the form of a hyena and just kind of runs in a circle around the child. And it's just uh, kind of playing and making the little uh, yipping noises. <laughs> I'm gonna laugh. That's awesome. Yeah. So, 93. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, DM, whenever you get a chance, I have a question. Sure. There's a moment where you're in, uh, inside Grayson's magnificent hut. It's um, it's a tiny magnificent hut. 
it's it's cozy and it feels very comfortable but you yourself start to feel cold and almost as if the your breath in front of you you can see it in puffs of frost as you recall uh, uh your uh, as if your mind is making you recall a memory of um you running through the snow in the mountains as you were chased by a, a smaller elf, a uh, half elf child, as you were running through, um, kind of like playing like pretend war and stuff as you would have done as most children would do if you're raised in a cult environment. <laughs> um, like the whole, I get to be Tiamat now and then I'm going to destroy the world and you have to try to stop me kind of thing. Oh, you know, kids. Oh, children. <laughs> children. What? And you see, um, there's a moment where uh, you hear your names being called by your caretaker, Galvin. And you, it's time to go inside, you pick up your toys, you run to him, and he, um, and when you, uh, you, you run, you kind of go face first into his familiar robe, kind of hugging his leg, and when you look up, it's not Galvin, but another old man that you have never seen before. Or maybe you have seen before, but just don't recall. As he smiles down at you, kind of pets your head, and then in turn uh, does the same to um, the half-elf child, and just uh, nods and in that moment, the memory ends. Almost instantly. As Grayson, for a moment, you heard uh, John but just kind of mutter a prayer, and then she was just silent and still for a moment. Just kind of distant. If it's not too much, I'd like to study it. At least. It's I it's what I do. Maybe we can find out something. Yeah, you just hear her kinda like like she's kinda half listening, but just like sure. Um Considering the place, this place seems pretty secure. Mm-hmm. Probably do it in here. Who has it? Ophelia. Can you bring it to me? She's gonna... She'll just kind of, like, nod and peek out and go and pretty much go to find Ophelia. Literally go seek out Ophelia. Just be like, hey, sup? Come join us in the, uh, nerd hut. The nerd hut? Nerd hut. I'm I'm like, where's it at? Back in the room. You know, the one room that we were in earlier? We in the secret room. You guys are so subtle. I love it. I'm sorry, that was whispered. I swear it was Was whispered. it, though? It was whispered. Sure. I'm gonna be like, let's let's take my way over there. Thumbs up. Secret tunnel. <laughs> secret tunnel. Oh, my God. Um, you take the secret tunnel. Yes. Well, I'm Jesus. up on deck. Um, can I roll, uh, just perceive if anyone's eyeing them, eyeing me, oh, yeah. anyone's being weird. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, roll me perception, please. What I was supposed to be doing if anyone was watching me. I don't know if they did. Uh, Somebody. 14. 13? 14. 14. Oh, that's so much better. Okay. <laughs> uh, I will say you will kind of catch... Um, there's, uh, there's, there is the gnomish girl, but you, she, she kind of seems to be watching more with amusement, but does nothing. Um, you will see, um, the, the man with the black headdress, uh, his eyes for a moment will be on Janva before acting like he never was looking. Wait, who was that again, sorry? The the uh the one that Janva had identified as being at the party the the one man with the black headdress that you said you would keep an eye out on. 
The Alderman? The what? He, no, uh, no he, he, I don't think he ever gave his name. <laughs> yes. So, Janva and Ophelia, you make your way through the secret tunnel. Secret tunnel! To the nerd hut. I want to see who's in the kitchen first. If it's just Cookie, then I'm, I won't... It's cookie. And it is cookie, and uh, currently she has the halfling uh, in the midst of uh, peeling some potatoes out, and she has uh, Toro, the red dragonborn, kind of uh, mixing in a big pot what looks to be like a like a soup, and it smells like fish. I'm gonna whisper to John, but I'll be like. There's too many eyes. Like, is your way more conspicuous? Or I was trying to be sneaky, but that's not working. We can just go back down the stairs normally. As Toro is currently proudly talking with Cookie about how he has a uh, secret family spice blend that he loves to put in everything. And he highly recommends it for this dish because, you know, dragonborns, fish, all that. Yes. <laughs> If it can get rid of the smell. <laughs> Let's go to the tiny hut. Okay. So you make your way. Tiny hut. You one way or another make your way to the hut. Mm -hmm. Alright. Um DM, this is at your discretion. Can I allow Ophelia in? Or do I have to recast Tiny Hut? Um It doesn't say, it just says yeah. whoever I, I can recast if I need to. It's fine. Mm -hmm. nah, nah, nah. Um, what was that for? Nothing. She sent me a mean message. I was uh, a mean message. Wow, what the fuck? Um, no, I, uh, we're about to sleep anyway, so he's yeah, gonna get that back. Recast you just recast it. Just recast it. Yeah. yeah it's, okay. Okay. I don't want people to be like, well, technically... Technically, they can suck a dick because it's a game that we're playing for our friends. I know, how's it going, bitch? Well, well, technically, you can't go that. Well, well, technically. technically. <laughs> well, actually... Page seven of the monster manual. Well, actually. The... Chatting thing. Actually. Yeah, do you get a <laughs> One way or another, Ophelia is going to be inside that hut. Yes. Is it the same interior? Yes. yes. It's always going to be the same like that. I'm going to flop into a, like a big beanbag looking chair and just like sigh there for a second before we're like, what's with the secret room and the tiny hut and all this like fancy stuff? We want to look at the mask. Like, what mask? Oh my <laughs> god. Jamba's just going to look at Ophelia like no one can hear us in here. Oh, okay then. Wait, wait. <laughs> Wink, wink, wink. Wink, wink. I was like, before we ended here, I want to lock the door. <laughs> there's a door. There's a door on the tent that no one else can get inside of. Okay. Literally, no one else can get right. inside of here. All right. I'm gonna take my bag of holding, which I have, like a body bag, and just like, okay, and be a like, body bag. Look at body bag. <laughs> a a <what? laughs> Like oh, what? <laughs> you heard correctly. Oh, you a mean, okay, crossbody. 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 It's a body bag. You now know why she owns the ship. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, let me just get my bag of holding. It's like literally shaped like a body. <laughs> the body bag of holding. <laughs> so, so many bodies. I mean, they don't, they don't decompose in the, in the bag of holding, so... <laughs> Airplane. So I'm gonna like just fish around in it for a second and be like, and then pull the mask out. Okay. Grace be like, okay. extends his hand for it. Like, just be very careful. I don't want to foxy yell at me again. Here you go. It's fine. Give me. Oh, uh, man, fox 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 somewhere. Fox is gonna yell at you um, for whatever. Yes. I'm assuming. Do I need to do an Arcana check on it? 
Or can I feel it? Naily. Yeah, go, go ahead and do... Yeah, go, just... Well, as the second your hands touch it, it is cold. Like, it feels ice cold. But, yeah, roll me an arcana. My best stat. 18. As you begin to study. Ooh. 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 Oh. I'll work off of this. You... You sense that this is a very deep and ancient magic that was probably kind of woven together a very long time ago. And that's about all I can give you. Yeah, deep ancient magic. You feel with uh, what Janva had said about the about the masks, you do not you do not doubt that they could possibly uh, have you speak, uh, control dragons, have you um, be given uh, inexplicable power, even maybe possibly like, speak the same tongues, or maybe even be given the powers of dragons. There's, you feel that there is like an endless possibility to what this mask can do. Grayson's going to hold it in his hands and he's just going to think about his family and their legacy being dragon slayers of what they are. And he's going to attune to it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, one moment. Grayson, one moment. Grayson, one moment. Okay. If I see him looking at too long and be like, can I, can I have it back, please, please? <laughs> Good luck. One moment. Out of oh, no. <laughs> the other can hour. I, you can run over. Can, can oh, I take it back? Okay. I'm gonna, I want to take it back. Oh, no, shit. no, we're doing this. Tell, tell Vic to come back. He's, he's back. I'm back. Don't panic. Vic said uh, Here you go, Vic. Here. One more. This is a lot faster than what you're doing, I think. What? Are you looking it up? Because I can just send you the information. I do have the internet in my hands. I, I know you do have the internet in your hands. I just wanted to double check a thing. Okay. Closing I think, I what think I did not read. from what I'm understanding, if I think it is like what it is, then I, I then I'm correct. Okay. Guys, I'm sure this will end. Great. Everything's okay. Dude, like, you're no, gonna have no, a no. cool dragon as your best friend. Like, totally, what can go wrong? Guys, his, his family is known for white dragons specifically. We got this. Yeah. It is a amazing fashion accessory. It's that will look absolutely. great with my magpie gear. Oh. Correct. You're, you're right. Oh, there we are. Okay. Okay, so this uh, gleaming mask is white with highlights of pale blue and topped by a spined crest. Is that all it is? That's... There's like so much... Oh, okay, so that's the whole thing. Okay, got it. I, get, I understand now. So... You will sit and attune with the mask in uh, taking the appropriate time that it takes to attune. Uh, Janva, you will see Janva and Ophelia, you will see as he's sitting there uh, attuning with the mask um, it kind of starts to kind of ever so slightly kind of change in shape as he does, as, it, as he's attuning to it. Looking more like it would fit to to the measurements of his own face, mm -hmm. as he does. Mm. Uh, and this is gonna be great, yeah. guys. Let me send you a thing, then. Everything's okay. Concerned. As you are attuning to this. Yes, just gonna let it happen. What? Nothing. What you? Us. What the just fuck you should say to me? Nothing. 
<laughs> this whole time I'm just like, can I can Fox I have it? Fox is on top. Oh, I want it back. Is there any way no. I can? Anything for you. Is there any way I can fight the mask from him back? I'm like so concerned. He's fine. Like he's not in pain. He think. doesn't. There's no no. Grayson shows no indication of pain or any worrying thing. It's just the mask is just kind of. Just slightly changing in his hands, and that's Chava just it. blinking, like, okay, but you can't just go walking around with this thing outside. Can Grayson hear when he's attuning, or is he just zoned out? No, yeah, you're there. Okay, you're just you're just taking a, a moment to do your thing. Who says I was gonna walk around in public like this? Does it even like match your shoes, dog? It's not purple, and that's upsetting. There's some blue in it. There's a little bit of blue, huh? Oh. <laughs> some blue in it. <laughs> oh, okay. How, lo how long does it take to attune? Uh, does, uh, it, uh, I, I, I would assume... One hour, right? Yeah, one hour one appropriate attunement time. Default. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Tiny Hut lasts eight hours, so you're all chilling. Yeah, well, you are now attuned to the mask. And I'll you... put it on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he just kind of holds it, and he's just like... It fits perfectly on your head, like, perfectly sculpted to your cheekbones and everything. How do I look? Gorgeous. Can you not... Gorgeous, hold your darling. applause, please. Gorgeous, darling. Can you not? What? Java looks like she's about to have a conniption. Like that. You really cannot go walking around like that, Grayson. I'm not going to. It looks great with my hair, though. You have to admit. Can Can I have it back now? Yeah, please give it back to Ophelia before she has a heart attack. Listen, I just wanted to know what it was going to do. And how do you feel? What? What would you so. say? Oh no, never mind. Mm. So it's kind of like there's like low light mm. in the in the hut. Yeah, it's low light in the hut. Low light. Okay. You you feel like you know it's it's dim lighting and you feel like you can see it just a, like a little bit clearer. But other than that, you feel pretty much the same. The once the mask has been attuned to you, you don't feel bothered by the cold sensation of it. Hmm. Interesting. I want to take a few notes on this, what I'm collecting, if that's okay. Can I have it back after? <laughs> yeah, please <laughs> just give it back to Ophelia so she stops freaking out. <laughs> Why are you guys freaking out? Because of that? <laughs> what? Because of what? <laughs> you heard that sound? <laughs> no, we actually didn't hear that sound. Uh, Guys, <laughs> Gosh dang it, Grayson. Can, can, take what? your notes without it on. Let me just... I can't, or else it doesn't work. Well, take your notes quickly! What are you so freaked out about? Dragon masks aren't good. You're Says. somewhat good, so let's keep it that way. Do you really think it's going to be safe in your hands? You can barely keep your I mouth won't... shut. I won't put it on. Oh, shade. Damn. I kept my mouth shut about that one thing and the other thing. So you far. You let it slip. Doesn't matter. I'm <laughs> just sitting there like, what does I have to do about Grayson's supposed son? She really knew. You know what I'm talking about. It's a secret. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh my god. I know this was the one. I'm just back and forth and literally is that chicken gift of like... John does this suspiciously isn't... looking between you and Grayson and Ophelia. This isn't the one that he was looking for. I know that, but I owe it to him to keep it. Keep it in my hands, away from I, you. 
I don't trust your hands. I'm sorry. I don't trust I think your hands. If you're in a bag of holding, though, then you wearing it around. I'm around gonna wear it. Members. I have a bag. But is it a bag of holding? I can buy one. I can buy 50 of them. We're on a <laughs> ship. <laughs> and we're gonna be <laughs> off of a ship. Just and like I have a bag now. Just let Ophelia hold it until I guess we get in town and then get a bag of holding and then carry it. I don't trust you will give it back. <laughs> I will give it back when it is needed. You know nothing about this. So do you! I am wearing it. I know more than you. I don't want to wear the mask! <laughs> but I don't think you'd give it back. I gave it to you! Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna like a job, I'd be like, you got me in this mess, you gotta get me out of this. Grayson just kind of <laughs> stares off for a second. And he's listening for something. Yeah. Grayson looks like he's distracted in this moment. Gray, you okay? Java! <laughs> yeah, he's... He's- he's distracted. Okay. <laughs> He's just gonna be like kind of like staring off into the distance a little bit. <laughs> How about you give me your bag of holding? Until we dock. Jama's just kinda of sitting in there between Ophelia and Grayson, just like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> All I know is that I guarantee you, Frocky Fox probably has already got his bullshit meter on, knowing that we're doing <laughs> something stupid. Okay. No, wait. I have to think more about it. Hold on. <laughs> okay. So I will assume Grayson will take some time to. Figure out what the ma what the mask itself does. Yeah, he will. If given the chance. Jamba's just gonna be like, you know, if if you wanna stay in here with him, I'm I'm gonna go and take a small walk. Grayson, hand me back the mask. You're not my mother. This is my Ooh. shit. Because I fucking hate her. This is my shit. Damn. I need my mask. That was kind of a It's not your mask. It's on my face. How big is the room? <laughs> <laughs> How big it's, is the room? Uh, we're, we're, we're in. It's ten feet. But you cannot cast magic in it. Go into my bag of holding. <laughs> Give me your bag of holding. And I will hold on to it. And then when we dock... I'm throwing my net at Grayson. No. <laughs> <laughs> Grappling him and taking the mask off of his face. <laughs> why, why, yelling, why, why, why yelling for Yuli? I don't think... Uh, Yuli's not gonna Yuli, 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 Yuli can't Yuli come in. Our fault. Yuli won't hear you. Unfortunately, Yuli's on top of the deck, and you're in a hut. Guys, this thing's already breaking friendships. <laughs> Why are you rolling? You're rolling. You're going to attack with your net if you're aiming to grapple Grayson with it. And oh. the stupid thing's breaking friendships. Uh, fourteen. <laughs> Grayson, does that hit your AC? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm trying to see if you can use magic in the hut. Okay. 
two. I don't think you can. Um, I don't spells think... and other magical effects can't extend through the dome or be cast through it. It can be cast inside of it. But can it? Yeah, if I... I don't want to use other campaigns that I've seen as reference, but I, if I remember, I think people have casted spells within a tiny hut before. Just not, oh, like, through it as a... Not, like, through it in order to, like, use it as a thing. Oh, I like cover? Yeah. Actually, hold on. I already did it! No, because the, the dragon mask does something for me with my AC. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. That's so, right. Uh, That's right. Yeah, so Grayson, what was your AC? What was the, the hit? 14. Oh yeah, we're still fine. Okay, okay, okay. So, it does not hit, or does it? It hits. Okay, it hits. Grayson. Doggo, calm down. It's okay. I know this is a very stressful situation for everyone. <laughs> Alright, so Grayson, um... Uh, I'm going to net things. That's are weird. I believe that means he's grappled? And, Ophelia, you wanted to wrestle the mask from him, correct? Yes. Okay, uh, I'll have you both, like, do a strength check on that. Yes! Not 20! <laughs> like, uh, Grayson, is, Grayson is, I, I want to argue that Grayson is netted. Whew! With that gra uh, gra well, I know grapple means you can't, like, move. Oh, okay. But, like, I've, cause I'm like, I have many experience of Wes being grappled and still punching people in the face, so. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're, like, you're, like, you can't, like, move, like, you're your speed's reduced to zero, I believe, and yeah. you can't, like... But, yeah. He's still restrained with the net, though. Yeah, he is restrained with the net, but if you're trying to, like, take the mask from him, he's and he's resisting it. Yeah. Like, Grayson really wants that mask. Why can't we be <laughs> <right here? laughs> So, Fiji, okay. did you roll for your strength, or? Yeah, it's a 19. <laughs> Oof. That's the total? Total 19? Total 19. Grayson rolled a natural 20, but you have, if I recall, you have a negative one on your strength? Because it's a 9? Oh my god! That was a demon growl on <laughs> Holy shit, dude, what the fuck's the matter with you? Can you go lay down? You are correct. We are at 19. That's... That's annoying. <laughs> Grayson's gonna dismiss the hut and then immediately start screaming. <laughs> I'm screaming too the whole time. Fox, I you hear two I children thought. screaming. Okay. I'm pretty sure the whole ship. We gotta bring more. I need. I need writing. more people brought into this mess, please. Uh, <laughs> Why do we want the entire fucking ship? The <sighs> like it's uh, like horrible. Please screen? tell me. Please tell me, Grayson. No, please describe your screen. Grayson, uh, it's not the high pitched screaming. It's more of like get the fuck off of me scream. And I'm just lower Yuli, which will mean Fox, Caspian, Zanibe. <laughs> Caspian will probably be the first one to show up if anything. Well, who? You just hear the entire ship. Yo! <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm gonna make my way down there. Okay. All right, Caspian. Uh, I'll say for the benefit of him being a bit more. I mean, how hurried are you? Uh, I mean, I'm gonna move my actual speed thirty. So okay. That, I mean. Six, I guess, in a couple seconds. Okay. So you'll make it down there at the same time, and, I mean, Caspian's just kind of looking at you exasperated, like, what the fuck is going on? 
It's I, heat. I, I, I mean, I guess I'll ask it afterwards, but I have a question that could have maybe... I don't know. It, the internet cannot answer my question. The internet cannot answer your question? What's your uh, question? Once you cast uh, Tiny Hut, you choose the specific amount of creatures. Can you unchoose it? He dismissed it, didn't he? Yeah, he dismissed yeah, he, it, though. I yes. dismissed the hut. But, yes. um... But can you I don't... Two? I don't think I can banish anyone from it, if that's what you mean. Yeah, that's 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 what uh -huh. I'm trying to ask on the internet. Apparently has never come across that right. thought. It's like, have you never had a fight with your best friend inside your fort? Because uh, that happens all the time. Yeah, that happens all the time. Yeah. Okay. Doesn't happen in Fort Bro, though. Uh... No, Fort Bro is all <laughs> all happiness all the time. All the time. All and pizza. And braiding hair. Yes. Lots of braiding hair. So much braiding hair. Reading yeah, reading so... pamphlets. I mean, I'm I'm heading over there. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, as I said, uh, mm -hmm. you uh, Caspian and because Yuli's not doing a damn thing. <laughs> <laughs> just like crack one eye open, hearing uh, his name being called, and then he'll just like shake his head. But uh, Caspian and you, Fox, uh, you kind of at, end up down there at the same time. All right, I have uh, my spear ready, but not really like active. What? All right, uh, he'll kind of have a he'll have it like his crossbow, like like a hand crossbow, like at his thigh that he'll kind of like unlatch from the holster as he kind of he throws the door open. And I'm gonna assume he sees two. He sees Grayson and Ophelia on the ground wrestling for a mask as Grayson is covered in a net. <laughs> I'm gonna go and I'm, and I'm not gonna lie. Grayson, I'm gonna laugh a little bit. <laughs> and Grayson is wearing. And Grayson is wearing the white dragon mask. <laughs> and that's where he stops laughing. And uh, I'm gonna. There's <laughs> a meteor where Fox stops laughing. <laughs> All right. Um, what's your name? <clears throat> I'm looking at Grayson. What? What's your name? Grayson. All right. Do you have any ill intention towards us? No. All right. How long have you had it on? About how long have I had it on? Uh, what, five uh, minutes. Uh, five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. We need, yeah. About five minutes. About five minutes. That's it. He won't. I would be like, he won't yeah. hand it over. Because I want to study it. It's melting his brain. Dang. It's not melting my brain. All right, it sounds like him. He's being kind of high pitched and annoying. All right, what about this? I'm gonna sit down <laughs> with my spear tip, grab the net, and like put it back in Ophelia's lap. All right, we wait. Let's see what the map does. That's all I wanted to do. And if it uh, does anything harmful, I kill you. Little okay. heart. <laughs> you could just take it off. You wouldn't let me. I was talking to Fox, not you. I feel like you can sit right here too. I'm gonna yeah, like that's fine. The... And uh, uh, who else came by? Sorry, apologize. Uh, Cas Caspian, who is the quartermaster of the uh, ship. Yeah. Uh. I mean, you can stay too, technically, uh, on the I, ship. If, if you have it all under control, and if all they're fighting over is a stupid party mask, then I want no part of it. Yeah, make <laughs> sure you keep it uh, down low, though. Sure. This is a private party mask. Just dinner, Dinner's on in, in five. Mm, Just Thank you. <clears throat> We're going to sit here and wait for a while, see if that mask does anything to you starts affecting you. We're gonna ask cognitive thought, uh, questions to see if your mind is being affected in any way. I'm gonna try to deceive you. I'm gonna try to lie to you. Um, and we'll see what happens. That's all I wanted to do. I have my notebook. I wanted to see you. Maybe it'll help. It won't, but <laughs> we will know what the enemy can do. <laughs> exactly. That's helpful. Yeah. I'm gonna just have my net like refurled and be like, Fox is telling me one, I'll throw it back at him. Nah, I completely <laughs> agree with these it. thoughts. Let's just <laughs> fucking do it. And uh I'm gonna like think to myself <laughs> I'm gonna say it out loud for 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 <laughs> the audience and for us. I hope nothing bad happens to the boy. 
but I do kind of want to punch him. <laughs> <laughs> you would, you'd be surprised he gets that a lot. <laughs> like, I really hope nothing bad happens, but if the opportunity that I could, I'm not going to not do it. But not not saying that Fox has that thought just towards Grayson. It's really towards everybody in the group. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, Grayson's gonna sit there with a notebook and then start taking notes of everything that's like he's feeling and hearing and sensing, I guess. Yeah. All right. So you can you'll spend a. I'll I'll have a descript amount of time for that in a moment. I I would say it would yeah. take about another short rest in order to do that so like another hour or so of okay. trying to figure out what all it does um and uh you will all and java you're still there what did i have her run off and do? oops what did you have her do she basically left to go and just oh she left okay yeah, took a, she, she took a walk Yes, yeah, yeah, she she yeah, yeah, I need to take a walk. All right. I, uh, so, whenever uh, as Grayson is riding, I'm going to lean over to uh, uh, Ophelia and I'm going to whisper something into her ear, as uh, uh, which mm, maybe Grayson, if you can. I know we've been doing this all day, but maybe uh, I guess depending on the perception or the stealth that you want us to roll DM, I want to whisper something into Ophelia so she can hear it only. And uh, I guess, I, I don't know, do you want me to roll stealth for that? If Grayson hears it, I'll say it out loud. If he doesn't, maybe uh, uh, he can take out her headphones for like two seconds. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah roll me a stealth. Good, because I'm really bad at that. Okay, so I'll uh, say that uh, John Va heading to the top deck. A uh, what? 11. 11? Grayson, what's your passive perception? Sure That's what that. I'm looking at. I think it's 12, but let me double check. Uh, I wrote it somewhere. It's just 10 plus your perception normally. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's 12. Okay. Well, then I'm gonna, uh, so you all will hear. I'm gonna whisper to her the final test is he has to willingly take off the mask. And if he can't, that's when we know the ship possesses you. That's what I was afraid of. Give him some time. Trust him. Oh, I was only talking about you behind your back. Like no in big front deal. of you. No big deal. Yeah. yeah. Mm. <laughs> so it's you all just roll the up. I'm Like, what would he do? Oh, he'd probably do this. Uh, all right. I guess so, I gotta do it. so as you all spend time doing that, um, down in the galley of the ship, hidden in the sail room, um, dinner will start to be passed out uh, top deck. Uh, Bird or I, you'll be given your portion. John the. Um, the um, the, the red dragonborn being the one to hand out the dishes tonight. Mm -hmm. Hand you yours. What? Is it bread? <laughs> no, it's the soup. Oh, delicious. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, this is amazing. With the spices. With the spices. The soup the spices. Is the best. I'm mm -hmm. I'm so happy with this because of uh, it's just putting Fox back in his youth. No. Um. Uh, so Janva and then everybody, like the all the crew is being handed their food, and you all mm -hmm. get to sit down, um, kind of like wherever comfortable for you all. Whether you sit with crew or you sit alone, I'll go and sit with everybody because I'm awkward being. Oh, awkward Janva. What about you, Bird? Right? Yeah, I will sit down at the table. Well, there's no table. It's a ship. I will joke and say if they do pass... Um, I'll sit on the table. <laughs> if she does happen to pass the um, a ladder and she may trip in the process. Why? I don't know. Poor thing. Summer and I assume flowers or something. I don't know. Summer flowers. Yeah, I mean, they're a they're, uh, summer ladder and they're pretty. As, um... Donva, you kind of take a take a place to sit down. Uh, Yuli will also kind of a little bit more like towards the yeah, the outside of people, but just uh, still within the group. Mm -hmm. uh, the gnome girl will also kind of take a seat, kind of in the general uh, area of all of you. Mm -hmm. It's just like, oh, what do we got tonight? Mm. That looks um, 
Mm, can I see that, actually? Is she kind of hand, takes a hand for your bowl? Sure, fine, whatever. I wasn't going to eat it. <laughs> I just took it. Okay, nice. good. I am so glad. As she pulls a, a dagger from her boot, and she kind of takes the blade, and she looks like she's kind of, like, fishing through it. Mm-hmm. And after, like, a couple of seconds, uh, she kind of looks around, and then just kind of kind of scoots closer to you as she shows, like, the... as she pulls her dagger out, and you can see, kind of, stuck on the tip, looks like what, like, um... kind of like a sliver. Kind of curled up. The fuck? I don't have my notes. I need a more organized note system. There's John, but know what it is? Roll me, um... Hold on, I had to check for this. Roll me a medicine? Plus two. No, that's a ten. Okay. (laughs) Yeah, um... I'm beginning to get the feeling that we don't have a lot of friends on this ship. Oh, shit. I mean, I wasn't going to talk about the Loxodon in the room here, but, uh... <laughs> the what? The what? Wow. The what? Wow. Love it. <laughs> yeah, um, so did we all want to just... I mean, and Birdrai, you're in the fold here, too. Like, mm-hmm. So, did we all want to discuss why there was a red wizard hanging out on ship? Huh? Can I roll history for that one? You may roll with advantage, actually. Oh because shit, we're using those rules? <laughs> what? Gray and blue, too? Gray and what? what? Oh, because it's Faerun, right? Ah. Yes, it's Faerun, yeah. Wait. Is that history the thing? Bro. Bro, well, this is Faerun. Is race... Is race... Is is this, is the Soul Forge a thing? Is Raceland here? Can I go meet him? Can I talk to him? I... I if you wish to. <laughs> he sees us with amber eyes and he knows when we're going to die. I want to meet him. Is that history? Yes, he history. also tried to summon TM at one point. Yeah, so. you, uh, given your history with Galvin and knowing that he is... He was... He coming from Faye himself, you know a lot about red wizards. <laughs> show you guys who I'm talking about. <laughs> it's like, and, and she'll just kind of like, kind of pick it, pick the little sliver off of her knife as she kind of rolls it in her fingers, and it's like, yeah. Uh, no, Grayson's Dragonlance. This is Faye. Dragonlance and Faye are the same thing. But t- oh, okay. Never mind. Yeah. So, yeah, so... Hmm? Hmm? Fine. (laughs) So, yeah, sliver of bone. Uh, Looks like it was curled up so you could, you know, swallow it with your soup and... You know, have a really uncomfortable stomach ache and then maybe die in a few hours. my opinion, that's really unoriginal. I think you could have tried a little better. Jamba just blinks and then looks over at Fox. Fox is, a... Fox is not. Oh, he's not with the group? Fox is downstairs okay. with Grayson and, and Ophelia. Okay. Oh, this is great. Yeah, I recommend you all skip dinner tonight. Oh, oh, that's Fox, Fox is eating that <laughs> shit already. <laughs> Fox is like, hell yeah! Let's party! <laughs> Finally! <laughs> no, Java would have just sometime later gone to Fox. Have a good berry. Uh, yeah. Wait, no, I can't actually, maybe. I don't remember mm-hmm. what spells I prepared. Give me two fucking seconds. <laughs> I'll turn my page over. So, Next yeah, page. um. Did I prepare a good berry? Well, <laughs> they're still up, we're still upstairs with the whole issue with the poison in the, in the soup. No. Oh god, and then Jamba's gonna think oh, no. back. 
to what she heard earlier in the evening in the kitchen. Special seasoning blend my ass. The Dan told you, man. He gave you all the hints. <laughs> As uh, the gnome just kind of, you know, kind of takes the little sliver, she kind of pockets it, and it's like, yeah, um, whenever you and your whole weird group get a chance, I think we should talk again. Later. When people aren't watching. And we're not a big obvious group walking around with a box with a weird mask. You guys need to get better at that. I mean, it's no wonder that somebody just tried to kill you. Like, did everybody eat it? Did anybody eat it? I am. I, uh, I mean, I'm. Just well, you're down. You're downstairs helping Grayson with the. Uh, I thought they this came is, to us again. No, this is this is. Uh, well, no, you'd have to go upstairs to get your food. This is currently happening at the same time as you are discovering things about the mask. Fine. I don't want to get poisoned. <laughs> no, too fucking bad. <laughs> I don't even care about dying. <laughs> <laughs> Why the hell just come back as a ghost and just haunt us anyway? <laughs> I, yeah, so, yeah. I mean, cur currently everyone, yeah, currently everyone is um, partaking in the dinner. <gasps> the children. Because they all die cause too. Because, <laughs> te because technically speaking, I did say, is it? Or what are we eating? Are we eating bread? <laughs> no, we're eating soup. And I'm very disappointed that it was. Are <laughs> you saying bread, or I wouldn't have? Yeah, I have bread. I have Wes's bread. <laughs> I was gonna and eat that. that. Bread. <laughs> Which if you if you set oh, your bowl I mean, aside, where I Ro would have taken it to. I mean, eat. I have the random. No, don't eat. Jamba gonna go and stop every single one of her fucking kobolds. Like, don't you dare eat the fucking soup. Just don't do it. But it's it's food. Wait, Jamba what's what's. Boots over and just be like, I know look. that you're probably one of the only ones who can speak yip yak here. Just explain to the others and stuff. And don't eat it. You'll die if you eat it. I'm gonna, like, like, are we right next to each other? Yeah, you're all kind of sitting in the same group. Then I will look at, oh, like, the, the soup is poison. Oh. The soup's poison, oh. <laughs> I mean, I I I would I would as the gnome is just like I would you know check first. <gasps> Who's to say if it was specifically targeting anyone or if it's for are everybody? We, are we, are we on the top? Suicide on a ship or something? I don't know. Are we on the top deck? You, Janva, Yoli, uh, Zevier, the kids, and most of the crew are on top deck. Grayson, oh, uh, only... Fox, and Ophelia are below deck. Well, like... Um, nom, 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 nom. <laughs> with your bread? No, with the uh, with the soup. I was gonna. Okay. Um, nom, nom, nom. <laughs> Is it what was <laughs> on your shoulder? <laughs> <laughs> right on the I seat. I would want to check someone else's bowl just to see if she could find like any more of the slivers. Uh, I mean, you have Yuli sitting next to you. You have Xavier a little bit away. You've got the kids. You've got. She's a lot going of the to crew. Just check everybody, like everybody in our general area that she cares about. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so not the children. That <laughs> she cares about the children <laughs> is what I meant. Damn it! Already killing children off again, aren't y'all? No, we're not doing that. Shit. Sacred <laughs> not world again. What? I mean, uh. Oh yeah. Wow, divine. Check that off the DM bingo list. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you will, uh... She's gonna maybe, end the, yeah, just kind of, like, just hiss at everybody, like, don't eat the fucking soup. Grabs the soup from the youngest child, the youngest children. The smallest so, like, baby, okay. From Phoebus and Sybil, she's grabbing both of theirs, and it's like, hold on a second. And she wants to check it to see why. Sybil. You wanna die? That's up in the air right now, why? Because some odd will be trying to poison and kill you guys. I'm immune to everything. That's cute. And she's gonna just force to take the hole. <laughs> you will check through everybody's uh, everybody's uh, bowls in your group, and you will not find any of the same sliver that you had in yours. 
Okay, so she was targeted specifically. That she knows of. Oh my god, why are you so angry? You're poisoning children! <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was like, okay, Yuli can't be poisoned. just kind of looks at you, are we all gonna die? <laughs> Like not in a in a not not in a panic sense, but just in a very matter of fact way that he says it. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. As uh, the gnome just kind of. It's like yeah, I think I think we should all talk. Sure. Good time if I needed maybe do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We can go downstairs. Java hasn't been down since then, so she's like, we can just maybe go and sit in Grayson's tiny hut. Okay, okay. well. <laughs> tiny hut of a shit show. The tiny hut of a shit show. <laughs> so. Alright, so we will call it there for the night. Okay. As Java was potentially poisoned, or it was attempted to be poisoned. What are you doing? Oh my god! Is it trying to hit my table? Purposely. Ooh. So, Janva, you were... It was an attempted murder on you. Okay, um, that's nice. The gnome girl uh, asking to meet in private over it. Nobody else seemed to be targeted. And uh, Fox, Ophelia, and Grayson are downstairs unlocking the secrets of the universe. <laughs> <laughs> Be great. Gonna sing bong, just... <laughs> so man, why do you? So you're gonna go downstairs. You're gonna be like so many like red strings everywhere. <laughs> like, uh, if Tiamat causes destruction in the world, like some of those good berries, man. man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, what? Uh, uh, that Jason's, was the very uh, good Tiny berries. Hut is pretty much the perfect setting. For us to rip a fat one. I'm shook there wasn't a hookah, a hookah in there, to be honest. <laughs> I almost was gonna put one in there. It was gonna be on top of the thing, but I was just like, eh, I'll leave it out. He'll he'll conjure it in there next time. <laughs> so next time we'll unlock the secrets of the universe. <laughs> Along with this white dragon mask that you now have in your possession. And Grayson is now attuned to. Yay. Awesome. Alright. Yay. Yay. So, you, see, you see my happiness? Yeah. <laughs> so, excited. thank you guys for watching. Fuck y'all. Concerned. <laughs> oh, excitement. Uh, excitement. That was a lot of shit that just happened. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the DM was 100% prepared for everything. Oh, yes. Good. good, I'm glad you were. I, I, was, I had it all written down. I it was a part of my big master plan. Grayson, at this time period, puts on mask. <laughs> yeah, at this yeah. very specific time step, Grayson puts on the mask. God. Yeah, on my on my on my script it says uh, soup is poisonous. Yeah, I, I wrote that. <laughs> 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 oh yes. All right. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, this video will be edited and put on YouTube. And the Divine and Conquer page. Bye. You know, all that good stuff. All the yep. good stuff. Alright guys, adios. Hey. Okay, Bye. goodbye. Bye. Bye.